poof, whatever. Let me get the link. <laughs> Let me get the fucking link, dude. Sounds <laughs> sick. Thank you. I don't want to watch that shit. They did not see the suspect with any kind of rifle. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, at that po at that point, the person. We, we Thirty-four thousand low. Yeah, you're right. The person just. How's it going? And you could actually see that. They were not taking a weapon. So now Thank you see you. an aggressive move by one of law enforcement coming up quickly on the left. Uh, fill the, me uh, in, SUV. dude. Uh, that person now. Suspect is in a second car. car. Again, this is near. This is at uh, La Brea and Arbor. And the suspect getting through. Damn, the that's near it is Pinks, light, but isn't it? Getting through that congestion. Uh, oh, near La Brea, the street. Again, trying to elude authorities. La Brea and Avenue. Police are quickly back on this suspect. Love so hot dogs. Another green light, but turning on the right there. And going two fat to chicks to jumped out truck. of the truck and ran. Man, this seems like the best car chase in history. Two fat chicks? Were they trying to offload some weight? Get away from the cops? We're gonna have to lose two fat chicks, but we get to keep two. So maybe, but it looks as if we're on Tamarack. So this suspect continues to blow through stop signs, which creates a real problem for anybody who might be driving that Thank you. That commute. Thanks, guys. 12.53, you see some people just out and about. <laughs> Thank uh, you. So lunchtime, folks who... How's the commentary so far? Sometimes they're a real out. drab. Uh, but this suspect has... A really suspect called a backup driver on the phone and he swapped <laughs> cars? Get the <laughs> fuck <laughs> out of here, dude. But what is the other guy under arrest? Into oncoming traffic now, going around the vehicle that got stuck in the middle of the road into oncoming What does he think he's gonna do? See ahead necessarily, but this is really you think this guy's like now, got a plan? The proper lane. Uh, we're <laughs> yeah. Manchester Thank and you. South Prairie, and this does he seem like the intelligent type? The driver is not the suspect. <laughs> yeah. The they driver is the not the now, suspect. The person authorities were immediately looking huh? for was the passenger. Of a Chevy truck. This vehicle, if you're just now joining us, backed up <laughs> when the Thank you. Chevy was disabled and got this person, picked up the suspect, and took him off. Uh, so we do have. That's like the worst the description. Who backed out off and, and then took him off. Uh, what the fuck the are you talking about, dude? Is this guy stoned? They're still chasing. Uh, 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 the, the, the two women we saw running, that's important. Out of the Chevy, they yeah. are in custody. Uh, we, they're called suspects in our, our two notes. women. He's in a parking lot, dude. Damn, this is an exciting pursuit. <laughs> is this shit gonna end before the league start? Hey, hurry up, man. And I think you saw it as well. It looked to me like the Mazda backed up to pick up this. What are they doing? This is still not crazier than the. Remember last time when that guy was shooting a machine gun into the fucking streets? Remember that? That was insane. Oh, two fat chicks. There they are. They're showing the replay. He runs into this car, gets in as a passenger, and then the two fat chicks just run off. And, and he opened the passenger door for them. Like, hey, come this way. Thank you. And they were like, fuck that. We're hungry. They are calling it a carjacking. So, so they went to the restaurant. To Bruce's point, there's so much to be sorted out here. The taco stand? <laughs> they were running. <laughs> running to the taco stand? Yeah, they looked like they were in a hurry. Hey, how's it going, everybody? Hopefully good. Uh, and that is where the suspect jumped into the back seat of this vehicle. When that I'm doing pretty great. <laughs> My bad for not thanking. I'm watching a car chase. Hey, thanks, everybody. Thanks, Curry, Way Downtown, Bang, and Saws, and everyone. There's a lot of you. Uh, hey, is there anything else I need to do to play PoE on PC? I mean, I'm queued up. I got my path of building right here. Anything else I need to do? Do I need to update my loot filter or something? How do I do that? Can you teach me how to do that real quick? Thank you. We're, we're parallel to Manchester. Can you do that while the game is on, while you're yeah, queued up? Parallel to Manchester, and now we're turning back on to Manchester in the opposite direction. Yes. So again, law enforcement right on. Do you the think it's essential 
like right now like i could play without a loot filter until act like four yeah all right if it's not essential now i'll do it later because they've stayed in the general area correct that would give them a chance to do it yeah that's correct you can just follow a filter on your poe profile yeah you could use the default filter can't you driver get out you see the passenger uh let me click this link it better not be a dick so we might be back to square one with the driver and a suspect in the vehicle yeah there's presets he definitely i'll just use the presets there might even be more people bruce if you look at the vehicle he gets into the back now watch the passenger side front open so no one gets out there no shit dumbass they were opening the passenger side front so those two fat chicks could get in god this guy is a genius from what i just watched unless somehow maybe the driver yeah there's a chase going on right now if you're just tuning in someone will give you the link if you want i'll give it to you now you've got the wind it looks like the passenger window is down either way incredible i don't i came in like right in the middle myself but i could fill you in with what i know uh, there was an original driver who was being chased by the cops. Then he switched cars into his homie's car. And the homie also was going to let the two fat chicks in. But they didn't want to get in because there was a taco stand right there. And they were real hungry. So the original driver is now driving as a passenger in a new car. No fat chicks. So Bruce, and now you're up to date, pretty much. They would, again, we're, we're back to square one. And there's obviously going to be less weight in the car, so the cops are going to have a harder time doing the pit maneuver. Or an easier time, I should say. Maybe that's why they uh, they didn't bother up until this point. And being a murder suspect also. But yeah, I think you're correct. I think there may be two or three people in that vehicle, possibly. Which again, crazy with the tinted windows in the back, you know, once it reaches its end point, that creates. I always wonder what's the plan. This guy's going fast. It seems like a city street where there are homes and businesses, four lanes, two in each direction. Can I get a League Star luck buff? Yeah, hey, good luck, everybody who's going to play. Tell me about your sweet droppings. Like, if you get something cool, I want to know. Oh, it's moving! Should I leave that on? What do you want me to do? It's moving. You want to keep the unknowns from happening. However, I got my controller. You guys can see, right? So I'm going to ask our producer as we're talking. I was just told they were they were turn the game down. Two people in the car, but is that two people in addition to the suspect, or is that two people total? Because as Bruce and I were saying, it doesn't look as if it's two people total. It does appear. Okay, we are told that they are oh, this oh, in the car. oh my God! Another, uh, Some civilian just tried to intervene. A civilian minivan just tried to cut him off, and he did the crisscross and went to the other side. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks, Bucks. Thanks, everybody, for the subs. Cut that bitch off. I'm really surprised that the cops let this shit go. But they, they're they supposed to have, like, the ultimate, highest, supposed to have the highest regard for human life. But saying that out loud is such a fucking joke, right? Like, are you kidding me, dude? So then that makes you think, why don't they just shoot him? <laughs> you know? Like, toss a grenade in there or something. I mean, he's already trying to play GTA. Get the tank out. <laughs> Too many cameras. Yeah. 29K. Woohoo. Good luck, everybody. Dude, this is gridlock. In the center of the vehicle, up or on the, the road, up on the median, driving down the left. Why is the helicopter so fucking far? Usually helicopters are close. What's this about? This helicopter is like recording from downtown. Oh, dude. What is this? Looks like they've now got into a parking structure of some sort. If that is the case why are you so far there he goes again so they did they, they pulled in that he got out came right back out i thought maybe he might be going into a building underneath uh but again you're waiting for permission to, to cross the airport 
What about him, though? Oh, they can't. Oh, the helicopters are far away because they can't get to him. Oh, maybe that's why he went there. That's like a movie. I just watched Speed. That happens in the movie Speed. We go to the airport. It's restricted airspace. The news choppers got to leave us alone. Damn, this is like a movie. This guy has watched Speed. <laughs> yeah, dude. This guy also likes Speed. Cool. Dennis Hopper died? I didn't know. He was really great. I like that guy. Good actor. Even in that movie, there's this scene where he just like laughs and backs away into a garage and then the whole thing explodes. That scene is good because of his laugh. Funny. From other stations, maybe even other I'm at 23k, <laughs> bros. Thank you. Thanks, Lord Jibu. Lock Florence, whatever street it may be, so we can kind of funnel this person into an area and deploy additional spikes. I'm gonna have to like play yeah, and keep thing. an eye on this guy. Strips on it. Again, you start to reduce this is shocking in terms uh, of what they're letting him get away with. Feels like they could stop this shit at any moment. He's just in city streets going in circles, dude. Does anyone know what he did? When I got to, to the car chase, it was already, like, going. And he was switching cars. Hey, thanks, PayUcon. Murder suspect? Holy shit. That's a serious crime. Damn. So it was right before what you're oh. right here is what you're watching. And watch this. So the vehicle watch just, this. He rammed an Audi. <laughs> Thank you. He rammed another car to get away. So this guy will do anything to get away. Jumped out of the vehicle and jumped one of them jumped into this. Wow. That we're looking at here. Maybe that's why. He's got to have weapons. You think he has weapons? Because this is the second car. So the second car, the getaway driver, could have probably brought weapons. They said he had a rifle. And someone else is driving. So the murder suspect, we believe, is in the back seat of this vehicle. We did not see a rifle of any sort. But now the person is trying to navigate through and against the light. And now into the turn lane. What is he thinking? Box truck, which he has done effectively with the help of the box truck pulling <laughs> yeah. over. This so guy has watched speed. Moving through pedestrian crossing. Now Are you watching the one with the avalanche? Turn lane. Uh, that car is an avalanche? I'm watching one where it's like a gray SUV. It doesn't look like an avalanche. A Chevy avalanche? It looks like a Jeep or like a some fucking SUV, I don't know. And possibly get a spike strip out in front of them. It's a Maxda. go through the same area. What's that? Probably see that police presence begin to build as well. The original car was an avalanche. Oh, okay. I saw that on a pursuit the other day on Channel 7 where they were just flooding the area with law enforcement. But it's not an avalanche now. Funneling the suspect vehicle into an area. Yeah, new car. He switched cars and this driver is now like he got a new driver. Or with some sort of Shit is like co-op. That's going to be much better, but I've never seen that before. It just puts Where like another person, he calls someone and another person shows up and he switches cars. Got a lot of folks driving around. Never heard of that. LA is wild. I mean, is it that wild, dude? I, when I hear about shit from other states and other cities, I think that shit's wild. I don't know. This is just another cholo trying to hit balloons. You think that's a big deal? Florida is insane, dude. Some of these states and some of these places in the U.S. are like 60 years ago. So, I don't know, man. L.A. is pretty... I mean, we just got some cholos and they commit some murders. Yeah. But, you know, at least they commit murders in 2023. They'd be committing murders like it's the 1940s at some places in the U.S. You know what I mean? So, it's not that bad. Driving up on 
through the median into oncoming traffic. There's a man carrying garbage out of the McDonald's. <laughs> yeah. Here there right is here. a man carrying now garbage <laughs> out of McDonald's. Oncoming traffic. No, that's actually, I'm sorry, that is proper traffic signs, but it's 9,000. Weaving wide. Show me potato salad. So here we are. On a U.S. Street seems street wild. Again, it's relative. I mean, U.S. So seems so wild, but some places, I mean, so this, we don't know let's not even get into it. For a pit maneuver, we can't really see the speeds at this point. It's so all we'll relative. 15, 60 miles an hour. <laughs> yeah. uh, but Thank now, you. Into that left turn lane and weaving a little bit. That might have been a spike strip. Bruce, is that probably what the suspect did? Turned into the oncoming traffic? Okay, so they... Yeah, I think, I, yeah, I think that's what they... Said. Damn, he swerved around a spike strip. So Someone just got banned. What did you do? In and around that area. Oh, damn, that now, sucks. Going See ya. A, a crosswalk there again. Brand new. You, you could have, like, stuck around for a little while and then, like, made us think that you were going to be cool and then switched it up. First comment? Might as well just save it, right? That doesn't help anyone. Anyway, I hope you have good luck. Too in your league uh, start. Now we see on another side street, and it looks as if oh, LA got a lot of haters. Yeah, Thank you. I mean, so what? You, what do you think? I'm not a hater. I'm a hater. Have room for two people to go by because it's you've got so many people. So what? The road, and it's usually an exchange of opportunity. For Only reason we'd be hating on you is because you're whack, dude. If you were cool, you'd think we'd be hating on you? Going down street, think about it. Like, approaching another main street. like, yeah, all right. Well, people who are whack or places who are whack are going to be like, damn, L.A., they got a lot of haters. Oh, man, what is he doing? Uh, 2000. What is he doing? He's crazy. And here we go again. But we've seen opportunity for law enforcement, and they have taken it to deploy spike strips here and there. At this point... Uh, the Thanks, Mappa. Thank Thanks for all the subs, everyone. Bruce, I mean, again, we're still trying to figure out the relationship with the people in the vehicle. So they're probably going to gather that information as they can run the plates on this vehicle, yes? Uh oh. F? Did we lose Bruce? Okay, sorry about that. Hey, it started. Same story as the first. You you run the plates on the create to find out the connection. You're gonna run the plates on this Mazda as well, correct? And find out if there's a relationship here. If this is Ranger, because that's what it's called. Name. What am I naming my character? Um, Edna. Edna. We're told okay. that this is a female. Got girl, it. Which there were two women that got out of the shit. 50 cent. So if, if this is another hardcore trade, then he has no. Hey, is my controller female, working? Uh, as, as he did no. Before, or unless those were allies. This and happens so every now, time. We are about to see what goes on. Do you guys know how to get my controller to work? Area. A murder suspect in pursuit. Or, uh, <laughs> Thank you. So you have to go. Can, can I go to what do you do? Character select or something? <laughs> Thank you. But here we go. Around the exit to login screen. Exit to character select. Of course. Approach at least. And then from this screen, I go options. I go input. I go controller. Then maybe with the controller. With that, maybe something just changes. Same. See some hand yeah, movements, know. some uh, gesturing by the person who's driving. Yep, it looks like there is a person in the front seat. And if I'm remembering correctly, Roadhead? The person who was on the run was wearing t shirts, yes? T shirts? I remember if they were wearing a white t shirt. I remember they had dark hair. So maybe if we happen to see um. that as this vehicle got uh, hijacked, there we go. It works, right? Some hand movements I think everything's cool. Driving. Uh, you see the this driver is hella angry. Seat. And when we I can't that, tell. We exactly How can you tell? Just looks like a driver. If the suspect has moved from the back. No. So okay. 
We have a black shirted t-shirt in the back. We have a white shirt. The two fat chicks running for the taco with stand the, is pretty funny. Driving. So Bruce, I'm back to thinking there are three people in this vehicle. I like that part. Yeah, Philip, that's a that's a great observation, and I would concur with that. Good so observation. Was wearing all black. He got in the rear. So you have Let me know if I need to turn something up or down. And then the rear passenger. The skip suspect. tutorials. So I think that How do you do that? Oh. Kind of Man, they put skip tutorials right next to exit to login screen. What a bunch of dicks. Well, you also have a person on the phone. So you have the driver who is said to be a woman on the phone. And if perchance, if Mike and your conjecture is true, that somehow the person in black contacted this person and they picked him up, then this person could be, could be could potentially making a phone call for another damn next, third car uh, to let this person have another third car get out of there because as we've all that would be crazy even a second car is unheard of i've never heard of that i've heard of someone like getting out of their car and stealing another car i've heard of that like you get out of the car you steal another car i've heard of that i've never heard of someone who's in a car chase and then they call their homie and they're like dude i'm being chased by the cops again come pick me up and bring snacks i've never heard of that shit and the murder suspect we saw jump into the vehicle is dressed in all black and we believe they are in <laughs> Thank you. the back seat so there could be three people in this vehicle uh, bring snacks dude now you see another turn uh, right in front of the vehicle uh, but you see the damage Oops. to the hood. Uh, so, so Bruce, the I mean, damage you have to, to treat the that hood. As a possibility, right? That uh, okay. we've we've seen this person jump out and get into another vehicle. Um, they, now mm -hmm. we see this, the driver on the phone. You have to assume that there's the possibility this might happen again. That would be insane yeah, if another know. car shows up. Uh, <laughs> Thank you. That would be happening. insane. <laughs> Thanks, a deal Thank and a whole lot of peanuts. This could be a Oops. relative. Mm. The murder suspect. Here comes the speculation from a random ass fucking news journalist. This could be one of the relatives. We don't know what their mental state is right now. They could be suffering from depression. Shut up, bitch. Say something funny. Damn it. They've continued to drive. Uh, what do I want here? I want caustic arrow. Now the person appears to be off the phone momentum uh, support you can see there uh, but that could mean the cell phone was handed off to some momentum else. support this could be a hey we want to surrender but with this is where we momentum want to support. do it how we thank you uh thanks type r brian could also be is the suspect you know, hungry i want to help in this <laughs> why you got something to eat case, bruce in that we thought it was almost over um and usually bruce let me get some of that carjacking there is some manner of resistance by the person being carjacked here we go into oncoming traffic oh. through another intersection i'm gonna die watching this i could tell hitting anything that's good but usually there's some manner of resistance whether it's there's always the resistance side door and tried to get out or something and that's what was unusual to me about this is that the only door that opened was the passenger door the suspect jumped into the rear of the oh. vehicle and without anything the passenger side closed we saw the two women running away this shit happens every week dude i've been recently thinking man it, there hasn't been a car chase in forever so it's funny you say that but i haven't seen one in a while this is a cool one i mean you know as cool as they could be it's got a lot of action it's got fat chicks it's got a second getaway driver this is a pretty cool one. And the passenger side door opened briefly and then shuts and nobody even made an attempt to get out of that vehicle as those two women ran straight by. Those two women have been uh, detained by authorities. Detained the chicks. I wonder if they got their tacos. Carjacking, but looked nothing like any carjacking 
we've ever witnessed here before. So now we see this Mazda going into the right shoulder. It is a Mazda. It is a Maxda. You guys are right. Getting around any congestion in I should have sold all my stuff. I forgot to sell my stuff and I forgot to check the vendor. God damn it. You guys are just letting me fuck up watching this stupid car chase. Who cares? said in the ear one more time. Okay, so that's Imperial and San Pedro is the road that we're on. So Imperial is the road and that is, a, you know, a, a pretty easy road to drive. So we're getting a really Shut up. This guy sucks. Uh, the, the driver who is navigating this. And this guy sucks who's talking. Shirt person Ooh, gloves. Right. Oh, I thought it was maybe. Into the back seat. Fuck it, uh, where that? That is where we believe the murder suspect jumped into the vehicle. He doesn't look pissed. Someone in the chat said the driver looks pissed. Are you just making shit up, dude? One of the babies looked at me. Someone in the chat probably has the link. It's on YouTube. I'm watching on YouTube. There's no way you're ever going to catch me dead in a fucking helicopter, dude. There is no way I would ever get in a helicopter. No way. That shit killed Kobe. That's all I need to hear. Most people, like you said, would resist, maybe speed up, maybe try to get out of the way. But in this case, this vehicle backed up and they let this person get into the rear seat with no objections. Well, we now have a flat tire. Bro. So we've got the rear back tire that has lost air. And you can see it there very clearly. Oh, damn. HD. Well, We're going to need a new car. We, we can get a focus better You're going to need a new car, a flat tire? Very clearly. The, the I mean, he could push it, I guess. On the driver's side, rear wheel is gone. So that means you're going to have the same type of thing that happened a moment ago. Should have sold this stuff. Um, the propulsion will be affected. But, uh, well, this might be a, a front wheel drive vehicle there, Bruce. I'm, I'm not. Shut up. This guy sucks. In many cases, some of the propulsion will be affected. affected propulsion? Either way, <laughs> yeah. Did this guy just say propulsion? That's correct. You're also. Uh, sorry. You're dealing with a heavier tonnage vehicle. Just like the pickup, it's a little larger SUV. Um, I do believe this is a rear-wheel drive vehicle. So as that tire disintegrates, the rim disintegrates, it's going to lock up, and that may. Uh, who should I start with? The new patch and POE. Um, juggernaut, righteous fire. Seems right up your alley. Since it's fresh in our mind, I've got to think that authorities are not going to take Have fun. granted that it's been disabled. Uh, I would think that they will be very well prepared. Uh, excuse me. And, uh, I had really good French toast for lunch. Or I guess breakfast. It's it was really good. We've seen the suspect jump out, run from one vehicle to another. Don't I want to kill this guy. It's going to take forever. Fuck it. Phone. So... Now we're about to see how long this Mazda will be able to run with a disabled rear left tire. Just running a red light there, but it's... it's I don't even know Mazda made boxy-looking SUVs not like that. Only, uh, is, is it, you're not going through there so, Mazda uh, sucks. The only good shit Mazda has ever done is that um, Miata and RX-7. That's it. They only ever made two cars. No now. Uh, what's happening Mazda Miata Mazda RX-7 and so they will probably see this coming so here we've got you a had a ribeye steak turn. nice that sounds and pretty good off. I like ribeye it's my off favorite that. cut uh, that was, was Imperial Highway, I believe. Uh, and now they've they've moved on to one of the sites it's a uh, Ford like Escape rebadged is what interesting we're in that neighborhood that's what that street is 88 cool. so they're 88 so Air 7 is above 87 that is on 88 uh, and so they are Driving again, and in many of these uh, little areas, these little Man. streets we've seen there. Is this because I don't get a support gem at the beginning? What the fuck, dude? I'm doing no damage in this part of the game. Ooh, boots. Are these gonna be my lucky boots? They gave me a fucking momentum support. I'm going back to town. Shabby jerkin. Also, to block the intersection to allow the suspect vehicle and the parade of police cars to get through safely. 
in addition to also funneling them into an area they want them to oh run. yeah this guy likes speed and i right forgot now, about that the, the guy in this car chase has watched the movie so they <laughs> god you guys are dumb <laughs> This guy likes speed too. Uh, what do I need to get? Mirage Archer, right? <laughs> that Mirage Archer, I think so. Get rid of that stupid momentum. Oh, I can't use it yet. I gotta level up again. I'm gonna get lucky right now. You ready? Watch this. Movement speed boots right here. Damn. That's what disabled that back. I didn't get movement speed. <laughs> uh, but there's another one right here. I'm going to use this right here. Watch this movement speed right here. Bam. I didn't get movement speed. But I got rarity. I could, I'll could. eat some rarity in life. Whatever. Let's see what this guy has to say. I couldn't get it out of the way in time. And a sell stuff. Uh, I'm gonna sell so that. I'm gonna sell that. Well, we, uh, we saw that in uh, that barricades situation uh, a couple <laughs> yes, weeks ago. Thank where you. One of the officers. Uh, what kind of shoes are you selling, my good man? Ooh, green, green, green. Or, or, but they're uh, shoes. Suspect with the tear gas, so that <laughs> thank was, you. I don't want uh, those. Today. And then now we have this. Which is a very unusual situation. We don't know the relationship. <laughs> that is a very unusual situation. I haven't seen anything like that. Hey, I'll thank you guys in a sec. Thanks for the subs. Watching a chase we thought was Where's my oh. when a Chevy truck had plowed through an intersection with basically no front wheel. It was perpendicular to its way of travel. Uh, the wheel was about to fall off and collapse, but they were able to plow Which through an this? intersection and I'll get forward enough. That when they pulled over, they found a spot to what? stop the suspect and the other people in the vehicle jumped out at that time. This is on currency the currency affinity. They jumped out and took off running. The two women run down the alley. The one man jumped into the back of this vehicle. One uh, man. And that's when the Mazda. Took oh, you off. want the link? We I'll give you the there link. Are three people in that vehicle. Bruce Thomas and I believe that. Now we think that's it. The suspect live drive through an intersection against the light. So pretty that sure that's the link. That this is like a uh, car chase going on. It's a really weird one. I want to pay more attention, but there's two things going on. I'm listening, though. Smoking a whole brisket. Dude, that barbecue I ate a few weeks ago was amazing. I really enjoyed it. And the fact that there was barbecue sauce at the table and you didn't have to ask for it. and You could just put as much barbecue sauce as you want on every bite. That was, like, the best part. You know, just cover that shit as much as you want. Maybe you can deploy it. But everybody doesn't carry one, huh? We had barbecue today. The meat was awesome. Potato salad sucked. Why did it have fucking... I hate when they put celery in potato salad. What the hell is that, dude? Going to hell. Nasty. They do that shit in macaroni salad, too. Or like a big-ass crunch of onion. Raisins? What the fuck, dude? Raisins? Get out of here. That's nasty. Whose idea was that? On a flat tire. The best news of this pursuit, per se, is that this person is not able to go at the rates of speed they were going earlier. They've not gotten on freeways. They, hey, they have oh, stayed wrong way. Uh, in the general area of 87th, Imperial, Century. There was one point with the Chevy truck that it, it looked as if this driver was going or... Any of y'all going to Combo Breaker? I'm not, but I'll watch it. <laughs> Thanks, <laughs> Mazmool. Oh, yeah, I forgot to thank you guys. Well, thank you now. Uh, let's see. Thanks, Mazmool and God Eater and Eat Sports, Satan's Toenail, Donkey Cuh, Hide a Lot, and Habibi, a booty. Jubilar, thanks, bros. Santana and Graham Minus and Edna got shot. Thanks, everyone. Sorry, those of you I missed. Hope everyone's feeling great. I'm feeling great. Thank you. I'd go as far as to say I've never been better. Thanks, shipped GED. Passenger side window is cracked. We saw the driver's side window all the Shit's way Shit's cracked. Uh, this person now driving into the left turn lane to get around. <laughs> Thank and you. Into 
back into its regular lanes. Uh, I fully charged the crucible in the coast and it destroyed me. Get out of the way, but we are not playing on hardcore, right? In the coast. I forgot about Crucible. Where are they? I didn't get one yet. Or did I? I'll keep an eye out. I'm still in the mud flats. And they are not going to just back off and let this person go. So here we are. Into oncoming traffic. That person. Gotta pay attention. These fucking guys kill everyone. Using one of the scooters trying to cross the road with no idea what's happening. Again, Bruce, that's the kind of thing that I'm talking about. When they go through there with a flattened tire. It makes it a lot safer for everybody. Hey, happy Big yeah, Friday. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Your speed. Um, you know, also, as you get into these residential streets, some schools are still in session. Some only have half days. So the population is more out and about, which creates another issue for law enforcement with this pursuit. Yeah, certainly with the Good Friday. Now I can equip Mirage Archer, get a little more damage. Today, uh, I, I, when I say that, I mean, maybe they were in session until yesterday. Now you've got deviled the, eggs kids there on the <laughs> is that what you're eating you. i had french toast it was really good it is leading police on this chase but again you can take a look at that back rear tire and you see it is down it is it is completely flat the front it's down is okay uh, but no i don't play hardcore a, uh, usually i mean i have before it, it just makes me feel like shit moving forward as soon as i don't like to feel like shit off of that off of that vehicle um, it, the, the steering of it, Bruce, will, will be a lot easier with, with the tires on the front, but you just, it, you'll start trying to accelerate and it'll just make the rim disintegrate that much faster on that rear wheel if it starts spinning on concrete if, once the metal gets to the... Gets Would to the this back. guy say something funny? Oh, Crucible Forge! They have like little mini... Crucible Forge. For it's my first one. Fully charged, huh? I'm gonna get fucked up. Alright, let's see what this shit's about. I wanna clear out these zombies and shit first. So it's also a safety issue that it doesn't deflate the tire right away, but it just takes time. Well I noticed Alright, I'm going in. Nothing happened. I guess you have to interact with it. I couldn't tell if she was dropping something. Uh, okay, so she did. We're told that she dropped a bag, and now again you'll see some hand movements there by the driver. Huh? Um, and so officers will stop and pick up where that bag was, oh. and uh, they will look into that. So what would be, what would be anything that might help in that circumstance, Bruce, when they drop some bag out of the, Try out it. Of the window? You know, maybe How much do you hold it? There. Maybe there's an ID with a valid address on it. Maybe That's good enough. Some idea of well, you know, we're not going to where the then what? owner is. We're going to maybe this person's address to wait there ultimately. And maybe they're in within this Did area. Did I fuck up? That, uh, All right, there's the monsters. Monster. Run! Oh, my God. They're poisoning me? Dude, this was a terrible idea. You know, as we've seen in these pursuits, there's no rhyme. There's no reason. And they just go on forever. Do those guys stay? Don't know where to go. They feel trapped. Um, they don't want to just pull over and surrender. They want their last five minutes of freedom. Where were they? Well, oh, down there? Oh, there it is. You can see it. The oh, they do stay! Oh, they stay! They're just gonna fuck up my whole zone now! Oh. So fuck this zone. Alright, I gotta go back and reload. Right? <laughs> Triangle, new instance. That's crazy. Can How do you prevent it from filling up all the way can i fight just regular regular guys you're e either out on bail or or whatever how will this affect your ability to get there i mean you've now shown you are that doesn't matter what this guy stinks get this guy off the fucking commentary booth yeah typically most murder suspects and we'll go with this being a murder suspect will have what's called a no bail which basically means there's no amount of money Ow. to throw at the problem to get bailed out. Um, you know, I think in these pursuits, <laughs> law enforcement Thank you. may have to be a little more aggressive. Iron hat. Um, you know, maybe Damn, maybe law enforcement may have to be a little more aggressive? Uh, to say, hey, we're not going anywhere, so pull over. Let's end this thing. Come on. <laughs> yeah. And uh, as we look here, you can start to see... Come on, man, pull over! <laughs> <laughs> Come on, man. 
Yeah, this guy's right. Genius. Hey, pull over, man. Uh, here where that street is. Uh, but anyway, back, back out on one of the main roads. But you saw those bumps. One more time. <laughs> yeah. okay. Thank you. This is the video of, Press start of after charging? Thanks. Weaving, I was wondering that. I think that might be where they uh, got the, the spike strip at least into the rear tire. Uh, as Bruce said, just a slow, steady leak. Of Does the crucible thing come back? I don't see it anymore. Maybe there's only like one in each zone. You can't just spam it. Rear wheel on this vehicle. If we get a chance to, you'll see that the rubber is just starting to disintegrate now. Or, or no, it's the it's the tail. Okay, the the rubber is now damaging the bumper. So you can see that the bumper is about to come off because if you can imagine the, 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 the tire is coming off. And Man, I'm so distracted. And it's, it's, some of it's still going to be attached and it's just going to be like a chain beating on the... Oh, you got movement speed boots? Nice. Let me know about the sweet luck, bros. Hey, good luck, everybody who's starting. Everybody except for the murder suspect in this car. Okay, there's a lot of rubber that came off. So now you have pretty much nothing on that rear tire if they did want to do a pit bruce uh it's a lot easier when the vehicle is disabled in this manner yeah why are they not dude just yeah, get him um, as ah. parts of the vehicle start to disintegrate and fall off, excuse me you're able to get more into the frame more into the wheel well more into the vehicle axle area so the pit maneuvers become more effective mm -hmm. no shit, dude he just said that damn Man, this is some of the worst commentary I feel like I've ever heard. Uh, shrapnel ballista. Give me that. And dash. If you do try that, um, and of course, part of this is that this is called a carjacking right now. So if uh, that person is on the phone, get up in there, will you? Called authorities, then maybe they know. The relationship of all those involved maybe it is still a carjacking it did not appear as if it was to us that is what law enforcement is calling it so we believe there are three this is a carjacking huh uh, so you're telling me over driven through multiple intersections come into oncoming so when you said drivers, you think there's a hostage in there if that's true that's the craziest shit ever you think there is a hostage in this car so the chat fed me the story that the driver of the getaway driver, the driver of the getaway car, called another car and he came and picked him up. That's what I've been believing, but the chat doesn't know shit. These guys that are super intelligent and know everything say that this is a carjacking. I have a feeling the chat's right, because this guy's a fucking moron. He just called it propulsion. When he was talking about whether the car was rear wheel drive. With the first vehicle, they Fuck this guy. Hey, you guys got my vote, with the chat. Vehicle, they've gone further north, Is that a bear? Area. Is that guy ha does that guy have a bear? Leads me to believe that I want a bear. That guy has a bear. Place in that area. There we go, seven. You got a little bit a little bit ahead there. Uh, yeah, uh, and because uh, and here there I wasn't there. listening. Yeah. Uh, Generally speaking, uh, in most of the chases we've done, the person likes to get into familiar space in the sense that maybe they think they can get out, run, hide, go to a place that they know. Um, so maybe this driver has moved into... This guy voiced Ada in the remake? Possible that the suspect has what does that mean? Ago, it's still, you <laughs> Fuck know, you. It's, it's still so risky. What does that mean? And it, it, it's, it's difficult. They speed up a little bit. I guess it's, it's funny, but I don't know so why. The community can't just hit when all of these all these commuters are around. I mean, Bruce. Well, I got to change my buttons. To an accident if this person is pitted in the wrong spot. Yeah, um, you know the other thing too that um, you know they did studies on pursuits, and there are a lot of third-party uninvolved pursuit accidents. Meaning, it's not the police, it's not the suspect vehicle, it's people trying to get out of the way, people that are gawking at the, at the incidents. Gawking? And they end up getting in accidents. So Eris is a multitasking god? god? What do you mean? I'm like so fucking up like crazy, dude. But I'm trying to listen. Open Meaning, 
this. Man, isn't it annoying how you can get text messages that are like scams? I hate that shit. How is that possible, man? You get text scams now. At least the phone a lot of the time knows and says, this is bullshit. Alright, don't fill this thing up all the way. And this suspect went around on the right and they had to stop to avoid uh, getting hit by a car, which is that's the big worry that we have had throughout this whole chase. Because I don't get it. I'm getting attacked by monsters right now. So am I supposed to like kill these dudes or I don't get it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What the hell? Oh, I left. Ah, oh, I left the circle. That's the problem, right? Once you leave the circle, they spawn. A murder suspect, which initially we thought they might. I don't know the rules rifle, yet. But it's to the community, um, because this person. Uh, wow, huh? That would, a, that would have been a great place for one, Bruce. Uh, so just okay. From Vermont. Now you've got a couple. Cool. Of I guess I didn't get anything for that. So, so I have to do it more to get something. Along with this chase, a danger to is my guess. Bruce, because it's just there's just so many people out and about, and this person has been on these types of streets throughout. You know, and no, that is part of, a, of the pursuit policies of all departments. They have to give certain factors to the watch commander who ultimately makes the decision to end this pursuit, cancel it, or let it go. You know, one of the... Let it go? They ask for our, is hey, it's method. cool. What are the speeds? And they're, you know, if the speeds get too high, it's not worth it. If the speeds in this case, which are more manageable... They're going to let the pursuit go. And the fact that you're chasing a murder suspect. Well, as we look at this street, Bruce, and with the presence of everyone, um, you know, it, it, is this indicative that they this might... This is an extremely peculiar car chase. I don't know if you guys are watching it. I could give you the link if you want it. Because it did seem as if there were Control a opportunities v. there. There you go. That's the link to the car chase. Where they might try Send in the drone. This person, but they're just waiting. Right I mean, there are a lot of there are six cop cars right on the tail of this fucking car. You know, this is crazy. Law enforcement realizes this is not going to end in any way, shape, or form quickly. So we're just going to have to stay behind. That's crazy. And let this play out. Uh, whichever it's way exciting. It's, um, they're not going to disappear from the pursuit. It's not going to go into a tracking mode. Right, they can't because it's a murder suspect, you said. Yeah? Dude. Correct. You're looking at the problem. Anything could happen. You know, this is the kind of car chase that's volatile. Anything could happen. Like, honestly, if you're not interested in potentially seeing something not cool happen, just be warned. Don't watch that shit. If this is a murder suspect running from the cops and he's willing to get rid of two fat chicks just to get away, I think he's going to do anything. To get um, away. If they weren't allies, so they were carjacked likely. Um, so there's a anything could happen. Charges that are involved with the person who we saw jump into this Mazda, uh, but there will also be what kind of charges are are potentially facing anybody that might be assisting this person if, if, if per chance this was not a carjacking but an assist. An assist. Well, they become accomplices, and, and carjacking is a felony. So they become accomplices to that, uh, aiding and abetting a felon in this case also. What do you mean carjacking is a felony? If he's, It's no longer a carjacking if he's a friend. They're just going to pin it on him. He's not, it's not a carjacking anymore, dipshit. That guy's pretty smart too. Isn't that like the police expert on the line? Like we have former chief of police... Uh, whatever the fuck his name is. Nice expert commentary, dude. People coming out to take a look at things. You see, just ahead here, there were people walking. There's one there on near the sidewalk in the front yard. There are a couple of behind a, a tree. So you're seeing more and more people coming out to examine what's going on. Um, and the unknown of who the person was calling, where they might be found. Uh, this is. I'm not sure if maybe uh, can Air 7 not continue in that direction? Yeah, that's a good question. What's that about? Okay, we're going to switch out helicopters as the person takes a quick left. We're going to quickly run to... Video. Switch if out you, helicopters? Kind of, Damn. Uh, what was happening. They have backup helicopters. With a disabled left rear wheel. 
uh, is slowly still moving away from authorities, kind of picking up speed at this point. Um, so we're going to have to change our helicopters here a little bit. But this is what makes Bruce and I think it wasn't a carjacking. The fact that this suspect ran directly there. <laughs> two women kept running Thank by. you. Yeah, it didn't look like it to me either. And of course the chat room came to that conclusion. Hey, you can get in. It was almost an invitation, <clears throat> Bruce, for people to get in that side. And they didn't. And that's when this person immediately drove away and drove away without hesitation, Bruce. To me, that, that was yeah. also an indication that this person was involved because they drove away and they drove away with aggression. Yeah. You know, Philip, I'm, I'm going to use my my vast years of law enforcement. Oh, shit. He's about to use his vast years of law enforcement. Everybody sit down. I think in this case, uh, law enforcement calls it that, but I don't think that's what transpired. Well, what we're watching this guy's about to unload the vast vehicle, years uh, was disabled uh, they were dry this is the kind of aggressive driving Bruce and I were talking about uh, making a u-turn driving into left turn lanes running around that box truck look at this weaving in and out here there were a couple of times where they almost hit and then maybe did hit there is some damage to the vehicle uh, eventually uh, this I only have four was, ID uh, scrolls I, it was on Imperial. This is live, right? Or are they showing fucking replays? Corn nuts replay. Because they're switching out. Uh, it's a replay. Thank you. That, they're switching out um, helicopters, so they're showing corn nuts fight night replays. Sometimes gets the back tire. And we think that maybe somehow along the way. It could have been, maybe Bruce, are there officers on both sides of the road? Maybe they threw one from our right on the screen, so that's how it got in the back tire. Do they, they throw it from both sides or just one? Yeah, that's entirely possible. I mean, typically, if there is a medium, you're going to obviously the vehicle's going to be on one side or the other, but in a wide open street, they may have deployed two spike strips. First essence. The suspect to at least run over one Ooh. of them, and in this case, the spike strip. Do I want mana or damage? I want damage. Well, if you look on the left side of your screen now, that damage, is damage, our damage. second helicopter. Happy Big Friday. Is is back with us as we uh, had to refuel. One. Everybody, good luck if your league to starting pursue. today. So you see, we're trying to find it again as we continue to look at some of the video there on the right. But we'll get Air 7 back up over Damn, this we'll is crazy. I hope no one gets hurt, but at the we'll same time, I hope, like, City this guy gets hurt. <laughs> this Not, like, uh, you know, don't kill him. Just cut him. They don't have to kill him or nothing. Just, you know, lump him up a little bit. Just any moment, but... The fate is going to be the same. Yeah, the just a little rough up. Teach him a lesson for running. So now you see him coming right into oncoming traffic. And the good news is that people have stopped at that intersection. But now they've made the turn and they are back on the road. And you'll see the heavy police presence. Everybody will be smart enough to just stop. Dude, why are they recording this shit from fucking six miles away? They're recording through a telescope. At this speed, it's a lot better. Uh, what is this, man? Nosebleed. I'll give you the link. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, Here's the link. Uh, but once we get over it, you'll be They're recording this shit from fucking down the street. The observatory? Damn, from the Griffith Observatory? <laughs> We're here at the observatory observing this car chase. Okay. Okay, so, yeah, crucible. Bruce, we're, we're being told now he's in the back seat, but we kind of saw him beep. He, we saw him back there, and somebody's in the front seat with a white T-shirt. <gasps> Get out of yeah, here! You know, Somebody's in the know, front seat with a white T-shirt. Uh, thanks, Clock Quirk. Your door, maybe for those two women yeah. that were running by. Yeah, that's kind of what I was wondering, and then they just kept running. Um, but yeah, I think when we look. So at you it, can charge it and then uncharge it, seat, and then the just door, push start. Right there. And then realize no. And again, that's conjecture, Bruce. We're not. Oh. This is this is just. Oh boy. Oh, I'm dead. Yeah, run for it. No, I'm fuck, man, dude. I charged it up too much. Hey, Crucible is dangerous. Highly volatile and dangerous. But you know you. But it seems like you could just go back over and over and keep fighting them. As if. 
those might be allies, don't they? Yeah, of course. Where I was mean, that? I Down here? The same yeah. Thing you're looking at, and it just doesn't have the issue of a carjacking situation. Oh my God! It's because they bleed. These guys cause bleeds. Sure that shit is fucking cheap, man. It's like Act One, the beginning. As a potential hostage, also. What the hell is this, dude? What is this shit? Actually able to see the vehicle driving there by the food. I found one that spawned lightning mobs. This one is spawning bleed mobs. Heading right back to the 105, kind of going back to the area uh, that they have been in. I wonder if that part's randomized. You mentioned they're moving a little further north uh, of the airport, but they've approached the 105 several times, just never have gotten on it. Yeah, they may be trying to go... You That's know, crazy. Person, really How are you supposed to avoid going, that? And they're trying to get back to that Westchester area. Yeah. And so you can see that you can see the difficulty... <laughs> well, they're attack. dying at least, it's, slowly. It's gone. Uh, for the most part. <laughs> Let my... Thank you. Those uh, things do all the work. Here we yeah. Are at 147, you're watching Eyewitness News. We have broken into coverage of this pursuit. Jesus. It's been going on since we've been covering it since about 1220. I'm getting clobbered. There have been a couple of instances where the suspect, uh, whether in this vehicle me. or another, you know, ran into... The helicopters are insanely uh, far away. Chase began when the suspect, <laughs> Seems like a joke. Which is, we believe, currently in the back seat and murder suspect currently... Helicopter 2 sucks ass? Jumped into yeah, this vehicle. Does. Uh, after the Chevy truck, so does the commentator, the in, became disabled and uh, took off with whoever. They're showing the rerun of the car switch. You have to treat them Damn, he crashed into two cars, man. That is insane to me. He crashed into two cars. Oh, I forgot to thank for that. The speeds are Thanks, Yulioth and Merman. You, know, you, can, you can see it. Thanks, Dr. Uh, Morir Finnaby Brown again. Nice shitty joke. Dookie and, Shoot, and thanks. Bing Berry Cherry and Pedro and, and Voidvar. Yeah, Ronnie yeah, and River Pond. <laughs> thanks, Gwyn Blade and Better Son. Eken Raider, RPD Chambers, Brain User. Thanks, no Nightmare Cast, and Merman, and Yulion. Thanks, well, everybody. Hope everyone's having a wonderful day but watching car chases. So here we go. Uh, he hit uh, an Audi R8. Yeah, that shit's fucked up, man. Why do you have to hit the Audi? Should have hit something like... Um, what should he have hit? Like a Daewoo. Should have hit a Daewoo. Bruce, when I see a law enforcement officer follow the vehicle into oncoming traffic is that to maybe alert people ahead, <coughs> ahead? this guy's doing like fat bong rips see why or, or is it is it a tactic so they can if they oh my turn, god there's so on, many enemies uh, here officers, uh, do that as well. <laughs> thank you it's multi-fold as you're touching on one whenever you're driving code three with lights and sirens you do have to obey the vehicle code. However, however you are given latitude. To Don't die. You're down. You so oh, oh. This little you spider's know. chasing me. <laughs> Fucker. All right, I got him. It is to. Okay, so does that mean I unlocked my crucible tree? Hey, how do you like look at it? Oh, right there. L3 plus R2. Hey, I got this. Adds four to nine physical damage. And I can see the rest of the tree. Reduced attack speed. Reduced. Increased stun duration. Weird. There's negatives on the crucible tree. That's dumb. Positives only. As quickly as possible here. But there is no rubber on the back tire. There. You, you saw a, a law enforcement at another intersection that this person went through. So it is certainly possible that uh, there's... Is the relic slot gone? Are you kidding? Would, is that a joke? How could it still be there? I believe... Relic slot. Okay, so we just went past Marine. Is this guy for real? Uh, and officers again are right now seem to be letting this person 
drive as they will to not put pressure on the person to be any more unsafe than that it has been uh, to this point. But uh, they're certainly still... The YouTube chat the is pretty hype. Uh, passing the YouTube chat is having a good time. I don't blame them, man. They're watching a fucking murder chase. Murder suspect. Why are you uh, calling me a bigot? It's full of racist? All I just see is a bunch of emotes that say hissan. Snakes. Crossing Redondo there... Do you not see? No, I don't see anything. It's going really fast. I can't read any of the words. Hey, happy Big Friday. I don't see any... Uh, it says Rip Joe. Oh my god. Yeah, I don't want to see that. Yeah, alright, I got you. I didn't bother reading it. How come they're allowed to say shit like that? Isn't that, like, highly, like, policed? If I even say fuck in the first, like, 10 seconds of a YouTube video, they demonetize it. But you're allowed to drop the N-word in the chat? Thank you. That is absurd. Makes me want to turn it off. Can you turn it off? They tried to back up. That was the day of... Um, the the inhalants. You can't uh, turn it off. Nitrous oxide, so stupid. They just sat there for hours, but that that vehicle wasn't going anywhere. <laughs> so here we are now. Thank you. With quite the different scenario, Bruce. The, you can the, full the screen it. Yeah, but I'm using that monitor for like a bunch of different shit. Abuse the substance. Uh, this person just hide the chat to pull on the bottom center. Oh, thanks. So that is a thanks, I got it. Perfect. Animal. Now they have entered into torrents. So Thanks. They're so in torrents. What do you know? Each, each of these uh, torrents is pretty whack. Tactics, correct. And so, so, so LAPD is going to be in charge, I would assume. But when you go into torrents, now you have torrents PD that's going to help. Yeah. 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 Agencies are governed by, um, you know. Yeah, that's the link in the chat if you're interested. General policy issued by the state of California. Um, however, they do have uniqueness in their pursuits to allow certain other things we've seen orange county sheriffs actually ram the vehicle um, I break know time habibi we do in our major thanks let me get to the next save uh, point waypoint or whatever and then i'll take a break get. but at some point i think you hope you guys are getting good luck and, and i'm gonna like this is just a test run for me my real league starts on wednesday because i play on playstation 5 but it's fun to start with you guys too now that they added pad support on pc well and now you see more people out there as they see it approaching um but yeah you know when you talk you know i never liked you thanks for streaming hey thanks for liking my stream this many officers it's pretty nice of you oh shit i can't see your name Hold on. uh damn I didn't even know that was so generous. Thanks very much. Thanks very much, Billy Hoyle, of course. Thanks, G Sparkles, for the 50 bucks. Kizmo, Police Knot, Crimson, Ray Lewis, Ratitude, Resin, NSFU, and Rookstar. Thanks, guys. Happy Big Friday. So they're probably all involved. And here we are going into that was Damn, this guy is a total maniac. Are you guys watching this? He's going all over the road. He's got three tires. Dude, you know I was I was gonna go to one of those broil crab you know those places I've been talking about? I wanted to go eat one of those. So I called and they said that they're so busy these days because of Ramadan. Like, people are fasting all day, and then they go afterwards and eat lobster craw. Hella busy. And in the left turn lane, but so far has not shown... Okay, now now actually turning left. Usually this driver uses the left turn lane to navigate around congestion. But I still might. Maybe in the next few days. And it looks as if we, we, I think, is that Van S that uh, we're now, yeah, southbound Van S. 
near the refineries is what we're you have to order that shit two days in advance. They said that when the place that I called, they said that they don't take reservations or anything like that. But I don't know. There might be spots here where you could get a shot. They also said you could pick it up, but I'm I suspect that a big part of the experience is eating there, right? Like, should I go get to go? Like lobster boil, Cajun style? No, you gotta get it there. Oh, that's her hand. So that's no her way. Hand. Eat it there. Yeah, Fuck. Uh, so All right. I'll listen to you. More about whoever's in that car, basically by running the place. We'll, they'll know who the murder suspect is. And by running the place, Seems like there's a chain the that I found is, called Stinkin' Crab. Have you heard of that chain? At this point, yeah, they've got information. Yeah, I needed to reverse directories. They may even be calling the cell phone. Saying, okay, hey, is that what it's Let's called? You a stinking crab. <laughs> fuck you. Hey, fuck you. Call me a crab. And uh, mm -hmm. I was told that they're on Delamo now. Mm -hmm. So, and, but here, here's the thing: driving in the turn lane. Um, here's the right thing: the turn lane when it doesn't. Man, this commentator is so bad at bringing the hype. Can we get some hype, my man? Come on. Something. Give me something, dude. He's giving us nothing. Is this a hat? Spiked bundle. Damage, but now we're turning right. Uh, we're able to stay in what is this a hat i think this is a hat uh, blue uh, green green second. blue is that what i want the person i think i want green green here, um, blue. this is a shield oh thanks speed. so this is western delamo this thanks is delamo. it's not a hat um so if you happen to be down what about this torrents, uh nah. to see a heavy police presence any movement not, speed nah okay we're south on western we were on delamo Turn south on Western. Nothing. But, uh, you have not shit. just for the immediate pursuit. It, you will see in the neighborhood uh, officers who might be blocking the roads, might be in front of this vehicle. Uh, so if you're anywhere in that area, okay, break time, Habibi. Police presence, and, and you'll be aware of it. But we've been. I'm gonna. Uh, uh, we're, we're I guess I'll. Do you guys? I won't put on a song. Do you want to just listen to the car chase during the break? Boulevard against the red yeah fuck it there seemed to that see sounds like a good on. idea so that's good news it, it it seems as if they're enough ahead of this that they're able to to stop traffic and, and let people know to I have YouTube this muted this person is not stopped what does that mean but this began uh, with a Chevy truck with a murder suspect I'll just turn this You're up watching eyewitness news uh, by the way I'll turn this uh, this is uh, special mute. coverage of uh, this car chase that Turn has been on now for about an hour and a half. Put this uh, on. So we thank you for. Uh, and then I'll take a break and come back. Five to seven minutes. Going on here. Or do you want music in the background? Maybe I could put music on, but like not too loud. With traffic that has not been stopped. Like this. Carson and through the intersection, two people in the crosswalk with no idea what six or seven LAPD cars right behind this person so they have continued like that to, uh, elude authorities and drive cool erratically certainly into oncoming all right when sounds good approaching another intersection here I'm gonna take a break right break I'll be back or at least break be so cool we're seeing for the most part uh, people involved in this pulling over we haven't seen anybody really uh, stubbornly refuse to, to get out of the way or try to get involved uh, now left turn here okay the, the, but this is a different part of town Bruce this is not a part of town that they've been they haven't been in Torrance uh, they, they were in um, they were in the Westchester area they were in uh, down near downtown they're in Harvard Gateway now so technically this is Harbor Gateway so again maybe they drove to an area that they wanted to get to uh, but they might just be in a familiar area and that that's good news for law enforcement when they're not in familiar area right uh that is because they're not trying to go into an area where there are friendlies or relatives that may interfere with the end of this pursuit um 
you know, you do have other agencies like Torrance, maybe Redondo Beach, Manhattan Beach that are on, on standby for this, just to the odd chance that the pursuit does transverse into their area. And Torrance PD is actually a very aggressive agency. So at some point, you know, LAPD, they're not going to relinquish control of this pursuit, but I'm sure they're getting a drain on their resources to that point. was trying to talk in my ear, Bruce, and I, I, I think, they're, okay, they're heading towards Carson now, so I'm sorry I, I missed the, the last of what you were saying there, but, uh, you know, we continue to follow this. Uh, we are now at 2.01, and we are interrupting programming. We will, of course, let you know when General Hospital will air in its entirety. Um, we're following this due to the danger to the community um, because there is a murder suspect in the back of this vehicle. There are probably three people in this vehicle. We've confirmed through LAPD that there are two, but uh, it does appear as if we've seen three. Um, in a previous vehicle that this uh, suspect was in, uh, we saw three people, two women. They have been detained by authorities as they try to determine how those people were involved in the initial chase. Uh, but the suspect here is, uh, they were on 223rd, and now they're in Carson heading on Vermont. So Vermont is a familiar road that we've been dealing with uh, so far, Bruce. So maybe we're south, they're southbound. So now maybe we're kind of beginning to move back into areas of familiarity for the driver. Yeah, they may be heading back north to get back over into that Westchester area or maybe even the area south of downtown. Uh, but I think LAPD is definitely weighing the opportunities to do a pit maneuver and end this pursuit. The, we're getting word maybe they might be heading in the direction of Long Beach. Sometimes it's just it's difficult to, to see, but they're on Vermont. And so now you see that person trying to move out of the way. Very, very slow now. Very have, have really gotten a lot slower here. Um, the, the, the speed is going to be affected by the inability of anything on that back. So now we have a person getting out. This is so dangerous. The person is out. The vehicle is now not being checked. So that is, so Bruce, there were two people, and he was wearing a white T-shirt. That's the suspect that we saw. So he's taken off. One person is running away. This person is now on the run. That is, we believe, the murder suspect who initially got into uh, that Mazda, and he had jumped somehow into the front seat. He is running from authorities down the sidewalk. Uh, they will be able to know where he is. Okay, now he's got his he's got his hands up, but still running. So let's see what ends up happening here. He is running out of gas, it seems, uh, in this circumstance, getting exhausted. He's coming up to someone's house. Now, this is a potentially dangerous situation. We can get into that house. They have two men in front who have moved out of the way. So officers are now uh, trying to get the suspect to get on the ground. These two people have walked away. The suspect is looks to be in front of the garage behind those two vehicles there. They're trying to get him away from that, I would assume, Bruce. And it looks as if he is he's refusing to obey a command. He is certainly not getting down on the ground. You see his hands up, but he is not doing what they say at this point. You see less than lethal there in the man's hand in the back. It looks like for could be a green weapon there uh, now. So some of the officers do have <coughs> guns trained on this person, but he's not turning around. Bruce, he, should he be on the ground now or turned around? What do you think the, the officers are trying to get him to do? You know, they're probably trying to get him to lay on the ground. So at that point, they can produce with, um, proceed rather, with taking him into custody with some control, pain compliance holds, a knee okay. in the small of the back, grabbing a hand, putting it behind his back to handcuff. And that is what they've done. So he did go and uh, finally comply, and he is in custody now. So then, so it does appear, uh, after our conjecture that there might be three people in the vehicle, that it does appear that there were two. So he was wearing a black sweater, and we were seeing his white T-shirt in the front seat. Uh, we did see a woman get out of the vehicle, and she ran away uh, while the vehicle was moving, which, of course, brings back uh, horrible thoughts of the incident a couple weeks ago where the person got out of the vehicle at about 50 miles an hour. 
and uh, deceased. So this woman was able to get out of the vehicle. You see, now they're going to try to clear the rest of the vehicle, make sure no one else is in it. The car did come to a stop there on the center median. The vehicles are still able to get around. Uh, we're just going to stay with this just for a second to make sure that they can clear the vehicle. So two people were apparently in that vehicle, as is what uh, authorities had said. So we thought that somehow uh, the, there was another person in the vehicle, but it wasn't. There were two in there. One ran away, and we do believe that person was probably taken into custody by authorities. They jumped out of the car while it was moving, uh, both the driver and the person we believe who was a murder suspect. So uh, at 2.06 now, I believe we'll probably wrap this up. So we're going to wrap this up and let you watch General Hospital. You see that the murder suspect is in custody. They will sort through all of the charges this person faces and any potential charges Poof. that might face the It driver. ended while I was gone? People that were in the Chevy truck. So make sure you're with us for eyewitness news. At Weak. Did, did anything know. cool happen? Did he just say general hospital, dude? <laughs> Soap operas? Damn. Someone's grandma has been so pissed at this murder suspect. Someone's grandma has been screaming at this murder suspect. Fuck you. Missing my fucking soap operas? Son of a bitch. What do you mean he ran away, dude? What does that mean? He ran away? What do you mean he ran away? I missed out? Well, how was I supposed to know, man? I had that shit on for an hour and nothing happened. And they just got to take a break. After all. It's not over? They got him. He tried to run on foot. Okay. You can rewind on YouTube. Let me repaste that link and see how it goes. Oh, now it's a YouTube video. <laughs> right? So all I gotta do is watch the end of the YouTube video because it's no longer live. Thank you. We're taking danger to the community. Been dealing very slow now. Very have, have really gotten a lot slower. I'm watching the end of it right now. So now we have a person. The door is open. This is so dangerous. What is he doing? He got out of the moving car. They both did, and they're running. Oh, one of them's a girl, not fat. The developments. Oh, he's he's running for it. Top speed, full stride. We believe the murder suspect who initially got into. He's running. And he had jumped somehow into the front seat. He is running from authorities <laughs> Thank down you. the sidewalk. Full so speed gallop. To know where he is. Okay, now he's got his, he's got his hands. Shit, <laughs> very he's important information. Out. What? Not fat? His? Yeah, dude, not fat. Running out of gas at the same time. Missile defense. Getting exhausted. He's coming up to his house. Now, now all you do is talk shit, shit, dude. He can get into that house. They have two men. What the hell? Moved out of the way. So officers are two cholos are just walking all slow and shit. On the ground. These two people have walked away. The suspect is looks to be in front of the garage behind those two. Not bald. <laughs> suspect is not bald. Running eastbound. He's refusing to obey a commands. He is certainly not getting down on the ground. You see his hands up. But refusing to obey? What they say at this point. You see less than lethal there in the man's hand in the back. It looks like or could be a green less than lethal they used to call that non-lethal but now they call it less than how much less than you could get pretty close to lethal without being lethal you know they're probably trying to get him to lay on the ground so at that point they can not by much proceed rather five percent that shit leaves you five percent alive fuck halo they got him. So he did go and, uh... Wow, cool. Non-bald ending. Hey, thank you again, G Sparkles, if you're still around for the 50 bucks earlier. Thanks, uh, Schizmo. Let's see, who did I miss? Police Knot, McBrewski, Joraxo. Thanks, Kaka and Mebo. And Cinnamon Raising Bagel or something. Hmm. What the hell is this guy saying? 
cool. Nice tag there, amigo. Tagging me in that joke. Is that what you're doing there? You doing a little <laughs> <Thank> joking? <laughs> nice joke. Uh, anyway. Glaciating mustache level joke. Little joker. Uh, thanks, Bulk Squad. So I unlocked the, the skill tree of this weapon. And it seems like it sucks. So the next weapon I get, I'll just replace it and crucible that shit. I don't think weapons are worth any more or less per se. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, maybe later you could... I wonder how that works. I haven't done too much research on it. Like, I don't know... Uh, damn, am I supposed to go this direction? Fuck. Is it south or north from here? Uh, I'm gonna go south. Thanks, Bang the Magnificent. Oh, it's not this way. It's the other way. I think it's north. I'm not up to that just yet. I think it's north. What are you guys trying to play, man? Other than RE4 Remake, which is pretty cool. Oh my god! Did you guys hear they added microtransactions? They added microtransactions to RE4 Remake. Like... You can now, you know those tickets that let you upgrade a gun by getting its final upgrade? You can purchase those with real money for three bucks. Real money, final upgrades for your weapon. It, if you want to buy every one in the game, so you can final upgrade every gun from the start of the game, costs 55 bucks. Think about that. Pay to win. It's not even a hard game. That's crazy. And after launch, so that all the reviews are out, they already sold 4 million copies. After launch, they add that shit. Damn. Did this guy just try to use an insult, but in the insult, he had... Terrible grammar. Come on, man. If you're going to insult someone, you don't want to sound like a, the thing that you're using to insult them. The very insult you're using against him is the thing that you sound like during the insult, my man. You see the error in your ways? The problem? The issue at hand. I think Mercenaries came out. I'm pretty sure this whole DLC thing is a package with... Like, they added the pay to win at the same time as the Mercenary mode. I'm pretty sure. I think that's pretty fucking whack. I can't believe that, man. Alchemy Orb. That's whack. I don't like that. Yeah, good reviews. Then they add all the pay to win. They did that with Crash Team Racing. The game came out. Reviews came out. They were praised in the reviews for not having pay to win. And then, pay to win. They were praised in the reviews. Gran Turismo already was pay to win from the start, and there was no question. But Gran Turismo nerfed the win. The in-game ability to make money got nerfed after launch. That's for sure. Uh, so I don't even want to do a Crucible with this stupid weapon, because it just fucking sucks anyway. So I'm out of here. This League, I bet no one's going to have any currency, because the League mechanic seems a little stingy. I might be wrong. But it doesn't seem like it's trying to make all kinds of currency. Yes, Dingy. Uh, some of the passives will... S oh, yeah, I know. I know uh, there's a, like on the skill tree, it'll say this item, is it vendors for? This item vendors for divine orbs? Or it could be a mirror. 
or something. This item vendors for a mirror of Calandra. That could happen. Is Sanctum in the Atlas tree? No. Do you mean did Sanctum go core? No. I don't think so, no. I'm pretty sure it's gone. <laughs> Thank you. It's gone for the time being. Thanks, Fang Castle, for the subscription. Hope everyone's having a wonderful day. Like me. Feeling pretty damn good. I have leftovers like out the wazoo. I've been eating like a prince. So I got all kinds of Italian and I got good food. What are you guys eating? Something good. Shrimp. Dude, I'm like on the cusp. <clears throat> I called one of those boil places and he said we're especially busy this time of year because like people are fasting so then at night they come and they eat a bunch of fish <coughs> uh, so that's what made me he said it's a two-hour wait and they don't take reservations that sounds whack dude two hours Two-hour wait. I want to eat that shit. I think, like, I don't know. I don't know what I'll do. I don't know what I'll do because the option is to get it to go. Like, you just go pick it up, bring it here and eat it. Or you wait forever. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks, Million Dollar Extreme. Just start waiting now. I don't think you could do that. Uh, thanks, everyone. Anyone I might have missed today? I don't know. Send no pants. You waited for four hours for a restaurant before? Four hours? That's like you. So the only way you could do that is if you go to the restaurant right after you eat. Like, okay, I'm full. Let's go to the restaurant. And then by the time we sit down, we're going to be hungry. You know? That sucks. Maybe it has to be like... I've heard of that. When I was in Japan, one time I was in Japan, and the people I was with wanted to go to this three Michelin star restaurant in Japan. Like a, the best ramen place on earth. And they said that the wait was four hours and they would do it again. But four hours, dude, that's a long time. You gotta bring snacks. And how, how about like, uh, what if you have to take a piss? For ramen? Yeah, but dude, ramen's really good if it's good ramen. You're thinking ramen because you're a ignorant bigot. <laughs> I'm talking about real ramen. This is Japan, man. It's not that shit that comes in a box from Sam's Club. It's not Sam's Club ramen, dude. We're talking the real deal. It's it's good. It can be really good. Thank you. If you get it from the right place, like Japan. Uh, thanks, Ryzen, and thanks, Average KD. Thanks for the five gifted subs. <coughs> Appreciate that. Thanks. Thanks, Ryzen. Twice. <laughs> yeah, ramen. I would say that ramen is more... Like, to me... Uh, and this is really highly opinion. But I think ramen is way more hyped than sushi could ever be. Sushi? S-tier. I've had sushi where the guy brought it out. And there was a big-ass tray. And he removed the like lid of the tray and there was one sushi in this big ass tray like as if this one little sushi 
is like super tight. And it was so mid. Big fucking deal, dude. But ramen, when you get the good shit, it's like, oh my, I'm never going to forget this meal in my life. Like, dude, ramen just gets way more hype than sushi ever could get, you know? I'm not saying, like, okay, maybe you like sushi. I'm not saying you shouldn't like sushi. It's not bad, but ramen can get hype, is what I'm saying. I'm just trying to, like, respond to that dude that was shitting on the idea of ramen because he's probably some punk, you know? Thinking about that 35 cent ramen pack. He doesn't know. You don't know. <laughs> I saw that guy's story and I was reading it. And I was deciding how I was going to make fun of him. And then he got shot. That was pretty good. Nice shot. I didn't get to the bottom of the story though. Hey, what happened at the end? It started out with one time in Japan... And then something about being gay. But I didn't get to the end. Can somebody let me know how it ended? Hey, nice story. He got shot. Damn, in Japan? They don't even have guns. One of those new homemade ones, huh? They got these days. Those Fallout New Vegas guns. Damn. Uh, thanks, Spooky. Oh yeah, IUDs. Improvised. Look at my life right now. Hey, thanks, Kenshi Dixon Schneider. <laughs> it's a funny one. I like that one. Look at Kenshi's life right now. <laughs> Look at Kenshi's life right now, dude. Look at Kenshi's life right now, dude. <laughs> Tom Brady. The best. The best of all time. The greatest. Look at Kenshi's life right now, dude. Man. Shit is guaranteed smiles. I've laughed at that guy for a long time. Which is pretty sweet. Do I have a couple of points or what? No. Mm, thanks very much, Kansi. Kenshi. Very generous. Kenshi. Uh, thanks, Zandizzle. What are your league starts? I'm probably going to stick with this. We'll see. I'm doing Toxic Rain, but with Ballistas. I'm following Palsteron's guide. Are you guys all going RF? I was considering RF, of course, like I always do. Except, dude, did you guys see the crucible tree for RF? It seems whack. Like, there's the league doesn't work well with that build. About that ramen. Uh, kinetic blast. That's cool. Thanks. Flicker flash. Thanks, bros. It's just a starter. Oh, you mean you're not gonna stick for it, stick with it for very long? What, to, what does starter mean to you? Because to me, it means you get your void stones. That's long enough. Void stones is what I what a starter is. Void stones and then farm up your real build. <laughs> Thank you. But you know there's the idea that some people may not even get their void stones. Like, who cares about void stones? I'm going to do heist or some shit. That probably exists. I don't mean the leveling skill. I mean the starter build. 
Like, yeah, every build, sometimes you have to mule or, you know, you're just leveling with something. I don't care what you're leveling with. I, I care what your starting build is. Like, right now, I'm self-casting whatever the fuck this is called. <laughs> this isn't what I'm going to do. Happy Friday. Hey, there's a... Hey, happy big Friday. There's a uh, labyrinth in here I have to find. Thanks. On PC, you can buy your void stones if your build sucks at bossing. Yeah, I mean, I guess that's true. I think you could do that on console as well. Especially these days. <clears throat> Last League was the first league on console that I've ever seen that had, like, very common five-way... You could buy a five-way. I did that with two characters to go from level 98 to 100. Last league. They would charge you like a divine or two to do like two runs of a five way. That previously was only something that you'd see on PC. And they would advertise it in the trade chat in game. It was pretty sweet. Fuck going from level 99 to 100, dude. Shit's ridiculous. I've done it twice. The old-fashioned way. Twice or three times. And it is absurd. This game is fucking bullshit. There's so much stuff that kills you that's like... Outrageous. And then people play hardcore? That shit is like uh, deviant behavior. Like actually enjoying hardcore in a game that is... Like super obviously unfair... And that, like, merely by design. That's deviant <laughs> shit. Thank you. This is a deviant person. Uh, you know? Perverse, yes. Uh, thanks, Aspen, Philip, Kochner, and Axel. And thanks, Fishface. Thanks again, Kenshi Dixon Schneider. <laughs> Would you shut up, dude? Fucking stupidest morons on the whole internet. And I hang out with you all day. Thank you. Every day. God. Who knows what kind of permanent you. damage you've done. You've done damage. I can tell. I'm still pretty smart. But I used to be way smarter. Before I started hanging out with you. But thankfully... I'm still little bit smarter than the average moron. <laughs> Thank you. A little bit. Thanks, Maddox. <laughs> Thanks, Turnkey Arrow. Thank you. And Abduct and Daku. Thanks. I got chicken wings. <laughs> I got. You. Angel hair pasta that's baked with red sauce. I got raviolis. Help yourselves, bros. I still didn't find the... Where is the fucking... Uh... Whatever it's called. Labyrinth. That's what I'm looking for. Weird. Sometimes you get these big ass layouts. It is upper prison, right? I'm not up to that just yet. Oh, it's lower prison? Thanks. Thanks, amigo. So I could get out of here then. Damn, all that talk about food got me hungry. If I do say so myself. That car, tra car chase went a lot differently than I thought it would have. The guy was being so aggressive and like crashing into shit that I thought he was going to resist. But 
He just gave up like a pussy. Ah, excuse me. I thought maybe he would get like fucked up a little, but I guess they uh, they felt like he didn't deserve it. Uh, it's in lower prison. Oh fuck, that's true. Uh, let me see if I can kill this dude without too much trouble. I'm missing something. But it should be okay, I hope. I might have to, um, portal out once. Oh yeah, he's fucking dead. Man, bows are cheap. From downtown? He died. I've done for you what I would do for These shoes are gonna have movement speed. Watch this. Right here. Bam! Oh. No movement speed. I thought they were gonna have movement speed. Right now. I might do that shit. Damn, but I don't want to wait two hours for a restaurant. Two hours is too long. Two hours? So you have to not be hungry when you get there. That's how that works. Thank you. Pretty much like, nah, not even hungry. I'm just gonna go to a restaurant. Thanks, Baps. Thanks, Ham Bonin. Thanks for the subs. Bring snacks. I guess. For some. Uh, faster attacks. I think I want that. Mana forged arrows support, huh? More chaos damage, void manipulation. I think I want. Uh, I can switch to toxic rain now. I hope I have enough. I don't have that much stuff to like uh, buy the gems for it. Okay, let's see. Um. I ne I need void manipulation. I think I'm gonna take that. And then I'm gonna buy from her. <laughs> Got a job. Here's your cut. Hey, congrats. Ballista totem support and faster attacks. I think. Thanks. Wow. Thanks, Turnkey Arrow. Damn. Highly generous. Congrats on the job. I hope you like it. Cool. That's nice of you, man. Highly generous. Let me get some luck, chat. I'm trying to get three green sockets. Blink arrow. Sure. Let's, uh, green sockets, huh? Damn, I don't have any options. Weak. Let's see. So Mirage Archer can be with, uh, oh, can I get, you can buy Toxic Rain now, right? I'm pretty sure you can. And I think I need two of them. Uh, got a plus one Cold Skill Scepter in Act 3, nice. Good shit, are you doing Cold Dot? Um, whirling blades, blink arrow. Damn, I'm out of transmutation orb, so I can't even buy it. Where the hell is toxic rain? Is it not out? Search. You gotta type it with a keyboard. T O X prime C. Hey, it's not. You don't get it yet. 
thought you'd get it at like level 12 or something. Maybe I'm tripping. Hey, that's pretty neat. You can search with the keyboard without clicking off. That's kind of cool, I guess. Um. You yeah, I I guess you do. Thanks, blue name. Cavern of Wrath. Maybe that's what it is. That's where I went wrong. Thanks. I didn't bother doing a practice run or anything. I am level 12. I didn't do a practice run. I've been in the presence of good company and eating good food. So yeah, having a good time. I could use some more things to be excited about though, I guess. New games would be nice. I'm still excited to see the new John Wick movie. I'm sure that'll be fun. I It's not on DVD yet, but it will be. Uh, yesterday I ate really good chicken wings and I ate ravioli. And it was like a assortment of different types of ravioli, like cheese, spinach. I think there was a lobster, and I think there was a sausage. I'm not sure. But it was all baked, like with mozzarella cheese on top, baked. And it was pink sauce, which is good. Um... That's about it so far. Oh, today I had French toast, which was really good. And it had, like, fruit. And it was fucking good. I ate that. I put that in my mouth. So I missed the lab. I know that. I got, I'm gonna have to go to the, what did you say, lower prison? I missed the labyrinth. Get that ring, get this dance. So far the crucible has not been hyped because, I mean, basically it <laughs> killed me twice or three times. And it didn't give me anything that cool. A little bit of physical damage. I guess it helps. Let me get some green, green, green. Damn, but it's not linked. Is something burning me? What the fuck is burning me? Weird. Alright. Uh... Here we go, lucky boots right here. Movement speed, inbound. Damn, nothing? Nothing, huh? Chest plate is green. How about this, what's this? Jesus, what a worthless chest plate. I'm out of here. <coughs> oh, I forgot that I got blink arrow. Oh, but you have to put it on. Mm, blink arrow, man, I don't even have room for it. This has been pretty bootlegged luck so far for me. I gave all my luck to you guys. Hey, use it wisely, bros. Uh, you know? Not that it's limited. It's unlimited. Diablo 4 and Street Fighter 6 at the same time is not going to stop annoying me. That shit is just not going to stop annoying me. <laughs> I hate that. Sucks. Uh, I think I'm supposed to go like here. I should look at the POB. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, 
Yeah, this is not console. I'm just starting on PC, but the real shit is console for me. I'm going to start on console on Wednesday. It's next Wednesday. This is just basically my practice run for uh, the real deal. Competitive action on console. The first message community. Mm, thanks, Cabin Fever and Dark Scarlet Mage. Thanks again, Turnkey. <laughs> Hope you Thank like you. your job. Thanks, Harudzi. Or Harudzi, or whatever. Act two. <laughs> We're going south. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, thanks, Power Moral and Woody Mari. Thanks. Thanks. Sorry if I missed someone. I'm trying to look and see if you look familiar, but whatever. Thanks for the subs and whatnot. Hope everyone's feeling lucky. Having a nice day. I'm feeling pretty fucking good, personally. I might go as far as to say I've never felt better. Mm. And I don't think I'd be far off. Yeah, I'm saving my item luck for next week. That's for sure. I never play on PC past the first, like, day or two <laughs> anyway. Because what's the point? I'm going to blow my load. Console. You know what, man? The fact that this game doesn't have cross-platform save, whatever, it really should. Cross-progression? They're <laughs> dicks, you. dude. Hey, you guys are dicks, man. Why don't you just do cross-progression? What's the problem? Dicks. Dicks are the problem. <clears throat> Again. Yeah, I'm having a great day. Thanks, Ricky Dota. And Bexmiz. Thanks. Bro, you love dicks? Me? I love dicks, dude? Are you talking to me? That is not true. Uh, I do reference them frequently. I find them to be comical. However, I myself am not personally a fan. It's one of those things kind of like but I said, like sushi. Miller, Fox 30 News. You know, sushi it's or not... Yakuza. You know, it's like, yeah, I'm not that big of a fan myself, but whatever. If you like sushi, if you like Yakuza, whatever you're into, anime, you know. That's not a problem for me, but that also doesn't mean I have to share that feeling. Wow, dick hater. I mean, I'm not a hater. So either it's you gotta be a, you either gotta suck on it or you hate it. Damn. That's weird. Uh, are you sure that's how it works? Or am I just getting tricked into gay shit again? <laughs> Is that what's going on here? Resourceful, crafty, gay heiress fans. Always coming up with some new shit. Impressive. League Start is really cool. I know that a lot of people don't play this game, or maybe there are some people watching that Let have no you, idea. One thing that's right. really great joy. about being a fan of these games is the idea that you know there's going to be something new to be excited <laughs> about every three months. That is super tight, dude. It's a feeling that's, like, uncommon <laughs> for me. You. I've never really played these types of, like, WoW or whatever. So, <clears throat> it's pretty cool. Thanks, Henri. Thanks, Spud. And thanks, uh, Dixon Career and Quantum Typhoon. Hey, thanks, Two Dads, yet still raised a bitch. Uh, thanks very much. 
for the 25 bucks. Two dads raised a bitch. Um, damn, 1.3 attacks per second. Physical damage. Maybe I should just use this for now. And did I miss the... Isn't there a waypoint around here? Oh, this is just the ship graveyard. Okay, I got a ways to go. It's been a while since I leveled. That's kind of the case for everyone, right? Except for the people who are always leveling new characters every league. What's this? Blink arrow. Oh, yeah. Blink arrow. Oh, that's cool. Thanks, Spud. You guys level a lot of characters? I guess I do too, but what's a lot? Like, last league I probably leveled three or four or so. Uh, that's kind of a lot. Especially when two of them are going to be level 100. Excuse me. I'm on my first D2R playthrough. D2R is super cool. There's, you know, much like this game, D2R kind of, it it's hidden. Like the coolness limit or threshold of that game is a lot higher than it seems. That game is really cool. It seems kind of like, well, what am I supposed to do? Like just beat the game over and over again. And that's true, like yeah, you beat the game, but the amount of stuff that drops in that game beyond any possible playthrough is insane. Like, there is a lot to keep playing for, to get the really rare stuff. And once you know how rare and good it is, it becomes way more fun to do that endless grind. It's not really about what you're doing, it's about, like, what you're doing it for in that game. And that's something I didn't see right off the bat. I didn't see it right away when I first, first played it. Seems kind of common for games. Like this, at least. You don't like rune words? I didn't like them either until I started dropping hella dope runes. And knowing what they were, so it's like, uh, you can get hype. I didn't really like rune words either at first. But the more you play and the more you treat them as just, like, something really valuable. That shit's pretty hype. Rune words are better than crafting? What? Why? I like crafting. You mean in this? It's all the casino. Rune words are similar, aren't they? Like you have to recreate um, <laughs> Thank you. shit to get perfect. Ooh, movement speed, finally. Uh, to get perfect, uh, whatever the fuck it's called, faster cast rate on your spirit shield. That's a thing. Spirit. Yeah, you knew. I knew too. We both knew. It's like crafting, but uh, I would say that it's not as... There's so much less failure that can happen in that. So basically, what I gather from what that statement like tells me, it means that you want it to be less random. You don't like the randomness of crafting. Because you get a spirit shield. Every time you make that rune word, it's going to be a spirit shield. But what the stats are are going to differ. So, but the thing is, when you allow for randomness, it also naturally is going to allow for jackpots. Like, the best possible outcome on a spirit shield is always going to be the perfect 35 FCR. But if it were crafting, you could make it do all kinds of things. By taking risks and gambling certain stats. Like, you know, if you could further 
create more stuff, more stats on your spirit shield. That would be cool. But then again, you're talking to someone who actively has to remind myself not to gamble in real life because of how fucking sweet gambling is. <laughs> So maybe I'm not the right way to the right guy to ask about gambling. I don't think I'm the right guy. Crafting is pretty fun to me in this game. The more I learned about crafting, dude, that was the I learned about crafting that league that I played Spectral Shield Throw. That league when I crafted that perfect fucking shield, that was so cool. That Slam Dunk wrote me instructions. He was like, all right, this is what you have to do. And you got to do it about 500 times. So if you don't want to go for tier ones, you could go for tier two, whatever. I was like, hell no. I'm going for tier ones. And I got them. And that shit was fucking tight, dude. I ended up with a really sweet shield. Perfect shield. Mirror worthy. There wasn't even one like it on PC. And that league, it was top tier. The chat room was coming up with like a scheme. They were saying like, oh, you, what you could do is you could create a mirror service and then people will give you a mirror and then you could copy it and charge them a fee. And then I thought, well, what I could do is I could just fucking steal their mirror and not do shit. Fuck you, bitch. I'm out of here. Thanks for the mirror, loser. But then uh, I don't remember why I decided not to do that. I guess the chat convinced me not to. Um can't remember but I didn't that was sweet though that was when I learned about crafting in this game and it made me addicted to it like this is it this game is for me I like it it's fun it gives me what I want without being like endless this shit ends you know Unlike World of Warcraft, where it's it's like once you're into a game like that, it's over. It will never end until you have to like use control like a pussy, you know? Who the fuck wants to use control like a pussy? I'm already busy using that for other shit, you know? Where's Fairgraves? Oh, he's over there. <coughs> You know? So basically what I'm saying is this game has seasons. So it has its like rotation. I like that a lot. Compared to something like WoW. Though I've never played WoW. But something from what I hear, it seems like one of those things that really consumes you and doesn't let go. Crocodile. Ding. One of these chests could be good. Uh, no, both of them are kind of bunk. But the one I'm wearing is pretty bunk too. Can I get away with taking that off? Oh, good. All right, we'll throw it on the ground and wear one of these. Uh, whatever. Sounds good to me. Maybe I'll go with this one so I don't get that un unintentional dexterity or intelligence boost. And I'll put this thing on. Put this on. Cold res for my veil. Yeah. Thanks. I got this ring too for my veil. Yeah, yeah. I'm on it. Didn't I do that? I did do the co uh, cold res. I was about to say corn resistance. Corn res. <laughs> Thank you. You gotta prioritize corn resistance.
I'll keep you guys posted if I end up getting that lobster boil, whatever the fuck it is. Short bow, short bow. And it's got the sockets. Plus one to socket <laughs> and bow you. gems. Caustic arrow can go there. I got a short bow with plus one. That's kind of cool. Cool. And attack speed. I'm gonna be using this bow forever. <laughs> uh, for now, I guess. Forever, for now. Blink arrow. I haven't used it yet. Drop this on the flow. Oh, and now I have a new crucible tree to try and fill up. What do you guys do with crucibled up items? Like, this item has been crucibled. What do you do with that shit? Uh, release the KFC triple down. I heard about that. It's in Korea. In the in Korea, there is a triple down. That shit seems like. Hmm, what's that word they use about like the kind of research that's? Uh, it's like against humankind or whatever. Feels like it's against humankind. Like stem cell or some shit. I don't know. Nuclear research. Crime against humanity. Yeah, that's like that level. It's like a crime against humanity. That's how that shit feels. Triple down? Even just a double down already is like absurd. It should be outlawed. That gave me double down syndrome for two for 27 hours. Hey, what's this? Siege Ballista? I don't want that, do I? No. I want Toxic Rain and two of them. And I want to insert it with Mirage Archer, Toxic Rain, and then what's the blue gem? Isn't it supposed to be green, green, blue, or is it green, green, red? Fuck. Let me look. Yeah, I didn't eat for 27 hours. And I didn't even think of eating. Efficacy? I need green, red, green, <laughs> or green, Thank green, you. green. I guess efficacy. Let's see what kind of colors I could get from the store. Uh, thanks, Daxter fan. I need green, green, green. Thank Thanks, you. Applesauce and Keyfor and Soul Brother. Elfan, Zesquil. Thanks, guys. I'm going to sell this to... Man, look how crowded this vendor is. She's got good customer service. She helps us all at the same time, man. Cold res boots? No way. Yeah. Excuse me. All right, hopefully this guy gives me some sweet sockets, please. Sweet sockets, please. Uh, yeah, I guess I'll do that. Go here. We're going there. Break time soon? Thanks for reminding me. I get distracted like crazy. Earlier when that car chase was going on, that was like exceptionally distracting. Uh, pretty sure this is where I'm supposed to go. You got the build loaded into POB. I'm following Palsteron's build guide. I've never played Toxic Rain before, so... And I'm doing Ballistas. So I'm kind of following his... This is technically like my practice run. Because my real run is going to be on console. Did you say it was... Hey, where's the... Uh... Ah, fuck it. Um, lower prison. I didn't get that. I missed it. The prison. Click the screen. Climb. Prisoner's gate. So... Uh, 
It's not this? Prison. It's gotta be around here somewhere. I just missed it. So now I'm using Toxic Rain. This is the skill I'm gonna use, uh, like, end game. I like that it starts working early. Like, you can start using your end game skill early. I hate when you have to, like, respec at, like, level 90. Like, come on, man. You, you want me to play hours and hours and hours with fucking poisonous concoction? Fuck that. This league poisonous concoction has to be the most worthless shit, right? Because you don't get any weapon, so you don't get any fucking skill. Skill tree. It's worthless. It's got no skill tree, so you're playing like no league. <laughs> no league mechanic. You're playing standard. That sounds really whack. I didn't like it, Poisonous Concoction at all. The league that I played it, you I know thought it I never sucked. Liked you, Rip. Hate the way it... You like sharks? Sharks? I just watched the trailer for a movie called, like... What's it called? Meg? Or something? It's with Jason Statham and it's about a really big shark. Look pretty cool. I like sharks. It's a really big one in this movie. Biggest shark I ever seen. Meg is short for Megalodon. <laughs> Thank you. Didn't even hurt. Meg is exceptionally shitty. I believe that. I mean, uh, <laughs> how could it not be? Jason Statham? Oh no! Almost died. Yeah, Jason Statham sucks. He's good in Snatch, of course. But he sucks. Yeah, he's good in Snatch. Is he good in anything else? I don't think he's good in anything else other than Snatch. That's it. Lockstock? He's in that? Oh, maybe he's in that. Crank? Yeah, he's so good in Crank, dude. Crank is the worst movie of all time. <laughs> it's up there with Matrix 4. One of the worst movies. Crank is like watching someone play GTA 5. It sucks. Watching some punk kid play GTA 5. Hey, happy Big Friday. Uh, I don't know if you know, but the chat room gets extra bonus luck on League Start for PoE. So even if you don't play PoE, the luck works on whatever shitty-ass game you're playing. You'll get the luck in that, too. That's how it works, man. I don't make the rules. I barely even know the rules. And I made them. You know? One time I was playing SSF in this game and I dropped some kind of like albino <laughs> feather Thank you. from that first guy in the mud flats. I dropped like an albino feather and I never ended up like doing anything with it. I just dropped it and whatever. But if it were trade league, how much is that worth? Can you trade that? It's not like item bound or whatever. It's a joke drop, but you could sell it, right? 
I mean, there are other joke drops that people sell on trade. You missed a break. Thanks. I'll take a break at my next uh, whatever it's called. Is this right? It's rare, but you can't do anything with it. Yeah, I know. I was just wondering if like people trade it for like a oh god, for like a collectible. You know, like there's gold foil versions of items in this game that don't do anything, but people pay a lot of money for. You know, damn, someone got shot. What'd you do? Is this Diablo Four? Hey, all right. Uh, anyway, you got timed out, but only because. Shut up, bitch. You got lucky. Anyway, let me fucking do this. So you charge this up, right? And then... I don't know. You push start. And then you walk out. I guess. I think I'm doing it right now. I died like three times on the first crucible. Someone warned me too. Someone was like, I filled up the first crucible and got destroyed. I think it was slam dunk. I was like, whatever. Matt Damon. Hey, thanks, Wendy. Ears gone, Tum. Or oh, whatever. Uh, thanks. I used to really hate on Matt Damon a lot more, but recently he's grown on me. <clears throat> he's grown on me a little bit. I'm playing on PC, but with a pad. They added pad support to PoE on PC, but they did not add cross save progression. And that's what I want. Pende hose. So that way I could take my save to the living room and play on the couch, you know? Chill out, put my feet up. Not me. Yeah, you can play on the toilet if you use a Steam Deck. Dude, I lost my power charger for the Steam Deck. Where the fuck did it go, man? I must have put it somewhere and forgot. Which is so unlike me. Damn it, I can't find it. I looked for it like, I would say, I looked in the same place four times. Because, <laughs> dude, it's got to be there. Where else could it be? I'm going to look there for a fifth time. You never know, maybe I'm just not seeing it, you know? Give it another look, see. Did you look in the fridge? Nah, I'm not the type. That's some grandma shit. I'm not there yet. My grandma used to put the cordless phone in the fridge when I was a kid. And I'd open the fridge. Or like the TV remote control. Uh, and that was back when she was like... I don't know, like... 80... Nah, like 70... When she was in her 70s, she was doing shit like that. Now she's in her 90s, and she does shit like... It's fucking outrageous. <laughs> she will insult you, and then right when she's done with the insult, she will forget that she just insult you, insulted you, and she'll insult you again using the same insult, and then laugh at you like, you know, give it up. Like she forgets. That she just said that same shit. And it's like, dude, you just already insulted me a minute ago. You're going to use the same joke? And she doesn't remember. Shit's tight. <coughs> it's really funny. I like her style. Yeah, she makes me laugh a lot. She's always been funny, but... Feel like her funny levels went through the roof now that she's getting up there. I think she's like 90 something, dude. <laughs> 90 something. 96? 
maybe. And she's like, um, pretty fast, knock on wood. For a 96-year-old, not bad. She does her own laundry, dude. Can you believe that? I still can't believe that. My mom just goes, yeah, it's good for her. <laughs> That's crazy. Dude, this boss is getting fucked up. I must be doing something right. Don't you like it when that happens in this game? Like, damn, I'm doing something right. <laughs> Thank you. I ate that boss. Delicious. Yeah, that's pretty good compared to what I was using. Okay, definitely break time now. You feel like you're an MR at 25? You are an MR. I don't mean that personally. I think all boys... I, honestly, this is how I feel. I think all boys, if you're going to be like... Of course, it's different for everyone. But in general, all boys are total worthless fucking morons until they're 30. Uh, and that's not the case with girls. Girls are smarter and they learn how to not be morons earlier. Uh, but boys take longer. And I always... You know me, I don't give a fuck what you do. But if it's gonna come down to doing some kind of drugs like green marijuana, you don't want to do that until you're at least like 25 to 30. Don't even get near that shit. Because it's gonna hinder your ability to know how to be an adult shit's gonna really fuck with your credit score it's gonna fuck with a lot of things if you start doing green marijuana that young you wait till you can roll a fat blunt with one hand while on the freeway doing a hundred miles per hour then you're ready you know what i mean that's when you're ready <clears throat> mm, you don't want to get into it too early. Mm, thanks, Gelatina Demele and Lil Chair Sniffa, Vengeful and Wendy, and Set Up to Fail and Sith and Zalamander and Dark Spaghetti. Thanks. Thanks, Key for and <laughs> Applesauce. Thank you. And Topaz. Thanks, Muchachos. Uh, break time soon. Let me just clean up this uh, mess I made in Act 1 and see if this guy has any duds for sale. Something that's really gonna be delicious. I got three greens over here. Fuck it, I'm taking this. Give me that. And... Uh, I don't want shoes. Green, green hat. Green, red, red. I want a hat with green and red. You got a hat with green and red? No? You got gloves with green and red? No. Man, this guy's selection is garbage. Uh, sell that. Sell this. Keep that. Sell that. Okay. Put stuff in the box. You ate a lot of lettuce today. Does that shit give you gas? Uh, I don't really get gas from... A lot of people get gas from things like broccoli, but... It doesn't really get me too bad. Oh, and mushrooms? That definitely doesn't give me gas. Mushrooms? No way. I eat mushrooms all day. No problemo. Now I have a third link. So I could do Mirage Archer. 
Thank you. And what am I supposed to do? Void manipulation, right? Let me double check to make sure that's right. Um, oh, I should be upgrading a toxic rain on the side. A little side hoe. Maybe I should... Oh, darn. Man, you guys sure know how to distract. No problem. Okay, here's what I'm finna do. Put in... Man, Blink Arrow could eat a dick. Dash doesn't need to eat a dick, though. And then... Toxic Rain could go over here. And then... I guess... Faster attacks can go there. And this Ballista support can warm up. Now I'll go to the next town over real quick. Oh, I gotta still take that break. I think this game is fun. I like it a lot. I don't think it's fun to watch if you have not played it. I think, like, you have to really just enjoy the company of the person playing. But... I think it's pretty cool. It's a great game. It's really a great game. I mean, even if you hate it, it's because of how good it is. Like, uh, if you hate, you're either too dumb to like it or it's so good that it pisses you off. Both of those are possible. It does have that. If you're too dumb, it's not that you're too dumb. You just haven't even really tried. Like, you're, you, you don't want to work when it comes to games. And that's normal. A lot of people don't. This game's work to like. You have to like put in the work. And that's why people get butt hurt over games like that. Just like Tekken. Tekken is the type of game where it's work to get good. And then when you get good, it makes you butt hurt when they fuck with it. It makes you like feel like an entitled ESL little bitch. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna take a break. I'm going. Thanks, etc. and Squall and Topaz. Uh, this is a practice run for a console coming out on Wednesday. But I usually, since they added pad support on PC, I just start the league with everyone in the chat so we can have like uh, the experience of league start. I think it's fun. I mean, I like the game. It's not like there's so much super dope shit to play. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, thanks, Empress and Hakate and Kaishin. <clears throat> One more level till the RF switch. Cool, man. I hope you get some sweet drops. We drops. I'm going to get up and stretch. Take a little break. I'll be back. Don't throw on a little tune for you guys. The usual. This seems like one of the league mechanics that takes a while to get heat up, you know? Like the early game. Sometimes it feels like they only even include the league mechanic early game for like just for oh well we gotta put it in but it's worthless early game sometimes this feels like one of those where end game it's gonna be great early game it's like man fuck this takes too long poof i got distracted my bad yeah that song is great uh it's made by death metal witch from the chat room it's custom made tailored uh, pretty cool, right? Thanks, Sanirami. And thanks, Empress, Hakate, and Kaishin, and etc. Thanks, bros. Excuse <laughs> Thank me. you. Thanks, Ember. Excuse me, for the resub. 
Thanks very much. Hope you guys get a lot of luck. Hey, maybe I could put on some sweet MTX. Yeah, I forgot I have MTX to put on. Look at that. I'm gonna look cool just like all you guys. Check that out. I look cool too now. I think you get this shit for free or something, right? Whatever. Looks sweet. You're not powerful enough? I'm powerful enough. Look at this shit. Okay, so maybe I'm not that powerful, but so. Still good. <laughs> I've never played Toxic Thank Rain you. before. I think it's pretty cool looking. I didn't know that it, like... I didn't know it's not poison. I always thought it was poison because it's green, but I was being a bigot. It's not poison. It's toxic. I'm not up to that. That's right up my alley. You know? Yeah, so you don't scale poison damage, you scale chaos damage. See, but enemies like this, the guy that's rolling around, he's gonna be annoying because... He's gonna roll out of the shit that grows out of the ground, those flowers. This is a pretty cool skill, I didn't know. You don't really, you can't tell when you watch someone play it. It just looks like green shit coming up down from the sky. But it actually grows little flowers on the ground and then they pop. And then the flowers kill the stoners. It's pretty cool. It's not the actual green stuff coming down from the sky that does the damage. Let's see if I can fill this up enough to get my tree. So you can fill it up more if you want, right? Oh no. Oh, damn! Alright, alright! I get it! Damn, this shit's gonna get crazy. Maybe Juggernaut is a good idea. This league. I bet you Endgame, you could fucking easily go too far with this shit. The music's pretty nice, as always. Oh my god, leave me alone. I'm dead. I died. The music's pretty nice. I like that kind of singing. I died. Favorite gas station snack? I mean, beef jerky. I can't eat it because it's, uh, you know, bad for the gout. But beef jerky is probably top. What else is top? Uh, you know what I like? There's these, like, peanut butter... Reese's peanut butter pretzels that are pretty cool. That I like. Ouch. Dude, this enemy is bullshit. What the fuck is this guy's problem? <laughs> Thank you. He's causing bleed. Fucking with my groove. I'm trying to kill this guy so I can unlock my little tree. Ouch. Okay, at least everyone else is dead. This is ridiculous. Would you fucking kill this guy already? This is gonna take all day. Forget it, man. I'm not even fighting this guy then. He killed me. Man, fuck. Fuck that guy. Mm, I'm gonna kill him. <laughs> I'm gonna be stubborn. I got a bone to pick with that guy. Did I miss the cave? Isn't there a cave too in this town? Let me kill this dude. Alright, bitch. Look at these guys. Oh my god, this is bullshit. Dude, am I even doing damage? I'm not even doing damage to him. I'm gonna go behind a rock or something. I mean, yeah, I'm doing some damage. Could be less. Ouch. Yeah. 
I want that skill tree unlocked, all right? I don't want to hear it. This first note on that weapon skill tree better be sweet. It's taken 20 minutes to unlock. This is the type of thing I would never do on console launch. Like, I would already be done with the whole... The whole fucking first act. Uh, should I get sushi? I mean, the whole third act, actually. Should I get sushi? <laughs> Thank you. Um, no. Do you... Unless you... Are you a pretty girl? If you're a pretty girl, then... What just happened? Did he do that because I stood there? What the hell? I identified an item and he hammered something. If you're a pretty girl, then you should get sushi. If you are a... Like a, a boy, you should probably get it if there's a pretty girl around. That's my advice. Uh, thanks, Geekbone and Meek Mook and Ninja Gaiden. Hey, 11 frames. Thanks for the 117 in a row. Most impressive. Should I get Birria Del Shivo? Fuck yes. <laughs> uh, you, you should. Thanks, Dr. Honker. Uh, and thanks, Amber. Thanks again, 11 frames. Yeah, sushi's cool. I mean, I just think it's... I'm personally not that into it, but I'll get it. If there's a pretty girl involved. Uh, let me check my skill tree. I unlocked it. So this now has reduced attack speed. And it's just, that's the way it is now? <laughs> Thank you. Weak. That's weak. So you could brick your weapon in this league. Like, what if you want an attack speed break point or something? That's pretty brutal. So you're going to have to try and try and try again. That's cool. I mean, it's like, uh, it's like uh, something to strive for. Like all you strivers in the chat. <laughs> and strive is boring as AF. What's the final, like, uh, feeling on EVO Japan? Is that shit like, uh, everyone likes it? Everyone's happy? Seemed like they weren't too happy with the heat. It was too hot. It sucked? I didn't watch Street Fighter V. I wanted to, but I was tired. Didn't feel like it. I thought that Tekken at EVO Japan was pretty boring. But, I mean, dude, the game's like 15 years old and the same people win with the same characters every time. What do you want me to do? <laughs> you know? Melty was good? Is that a joke? <laughs> Thank you. Trying to make a, a funny one there. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks, Ordinary Who and Lunchbox and Rare X3 and Are the Win and Rim Job. Thanks, bros. Hey, Akimbo. Thank Thanks. Tuna Melt? I don't like tuna. So Tuna Melt doesn't get me hyped, but... See, this is like one of those things, man. That doesn't mean I can't get excited about you being excited about it. Just like dicks. You know? Like, alright, man. Hey, good shit. 
hype about some dick. You know, but it's not for me. Nah. Nah. Slippers, huh? Whoa, when I identified this guy hammers a thing. What the fuck? Is that part of the MTX? When you identify an item, uh, like, whoa, I just noticed my jetpack booster is doing stuff. Is that a cauldron on top of my head? I think my head is a cauldron and f it's filled with hot caca. No hair. Where are you going? Here. So now I get phasing on kill. Phasing on kill, bro? Sweet. Is RE4 Mercenaries tight? I don't know, but you can now pay to win in RE4. You can buy tokens that allow you to get final upgrades on weapons for three bucks each. Three bucks. Check it out. They added it in today or yesterday. <clears throat> what you do is you purchase one of these tickets and it allows you to do the final upgrade on every gun And if you want all of them, it costs like 55 bucks Or you could buy one for like three bucks and they waited for the fucking um, What do you call it the reviews to come out and the game to get all these good reviews sold 4 million copies already in the first week after launch then they add the microtransactions. Because the thing is, they already know they're going to hell. I mean, obviously. They don't, go, they don't give a fuck about that. I think they care about hell, dude. No way. They already run the joint. That's why. That's why they don't care. <laughs> I mean, I told you already, I'm convinced that the entire pandemic and the coronavirus was developed in video game developer labs. So they could have an excuse to make shitty games and charge you 90 bucks for them. That was their plan, dude. I'm telling you all along, game devs created COVID so they could sell us shitty ass games and complain about the pandemic and you know how it is. Motherfuckers, dude. We've been looking in the wrong place the whole time, amigos. Game devs all along. I knew it. I'll let you guys know if we go to the boiling crab places or whatever they're called lobster boiling places. I'm concerned with the weight. Maybe it's possible I could just go like at the beginning, like maybe right when they open, we'll be like first ones there. You know, that's possible. What if that's a good idea? First thing. Before anyone catches wind. And everyone's still doing their Ramadan thing, right? Think about it. What if everyone's still doing Ramadan? Go before sundown? 
Yeah, or whatever. Exactly. Everyone's gonna be busy. All the cops are into something. You can steal City Hall! You know what I mean? <laughs> Thank you. Ding. Thanks, Tito Morty. Thanks, Nobody's Lemon. Yeah, when I called the place, like, I called the place to get the lowdown on, hey, is it busy? Can you do reservations? And he was like, dude, it's hella busy right now because of Ramadan. And I was like, oh, that makes hella sense. He said it's two hours wait. What the fuck? Two hours? But maybe if you're first thing in the morning. Yeah, they got that Ramadan sauce. Oh, I'm going the wrong way. Let me get some of that. Sweet Ramadan sauce. Oh, that's one thing I was going to ask you guys. At those broiler places, what do you, what do you recommend? Like, oh, you got to get this shit. It's fucking good. This is like a rare occasion where I eat shellfish. <laughs> fish. You. Shellfish. Yeah, I know shellfish, but what specifically? Isn't there like a... Everyone knows that. Scrimp? Not blobster? My instinct says blobster. But maybe you're right. I've had crawfish before, and it just seems like a lot of work for how much you get out of it. But maybe it's worth it, if it's good. Soft shell crab. The, yeah, I guess asking the waiter is the strap. <coughs> like, what's the best shit, dude? The ultimate, most delicious shit, please. Scrimp, yeah, corn, sausage, potatoes, all in the same bag? Damn, let me get some of that. Had that shit once and never again. Why? Maybe you're like one of those pussies. Or I guess like some people call them like, you, do, you know, people who don't like spicy food. Maybe you have a sensitive stomach or something. Uh. I'm a seafood bigot, but I like, uh, sh you know, shellfish. A lot. Hey, red, red, green. I mean, green, green, red. I need that. So now I could do... Oh, darn. Oh, what's this? Green, green, green. What's this? Toxic rain. That's leveling up. So this toxic rain goes in here. And this... Uh, where is it? Ballista totem goes here. And... Shrapnel ballista hey, goes what out. Are you at? Mango oh. chutney. And then this goes over here. And faster attacks goes over there. So now this is toxic rain, ballista, and faster attacks. But my fucking bow got bricked. Oh, no, it didn't because it has attack speed on it. So we're good. Uh, thanks, Man of Steel, and Hank Solo, and Tito Morty. Morty. Tom, Kage. Go fill tip fish. Hey, thanks. Gefilka fish. Thanks. She ain't gonna be in rush hour three. I mean, what are you doing, my friend? Shut up. Don't tell me how to drive. Orange chicken. What are these like? Are you, what are you ordering at a restaurant right now? Am I your lovely waitress? Hey, uh, what's up, ladies? Uh, my name is Eris. I'm gonna be your garçon. <laughs> Thanks. Can I get you guys started off with maybe something to drink? Yes. We've got some lovely margaritas. Um, just let me know. Help yourself to all you can eat chips and salsa until you decide. You guys take your time. Let me know when you're ready. And I recommend the soft-shelled crab. Hmm.
I'm hired? With, for what? What, do you got a restaurant? Or is this another one of those elaborate schemes again by the homosexual heiress community? Man, you guys never give up. This is just like earlier when you said that I'm a hater unless I suck on dicks. Damn it. You guys are always at it. Almost had him this time. I'm telling you, I'm I'm not falling for that shit again, dude. Hell no. I think there's a... Uh, isn't there a uh, thing in here? Labyrinth trial? Let me know if you guys see it. Yeah, there is. I hope they come out with one of those like weird shitty ass like um, games that's like made in some ESL country. That's what I want. I want to play. Yeah, hey, you're right. When does Ebola Village come out? Holy shit. I totally forgot about that. Ebola Village is coming out. Ebola Village, dude? Listen to the name. How could you not be hype over Ebola Village? Don't worry. You don't even have to buy it. I'll buy it. I'm already in. I'm uh, pretty much the main beta tester of the entire Ebola franchise. Oh, I didn't look at the rest of the tree. So I could get... Wow, attacks with this weapon have a 15% chance to deal double damage. But wait a minute, 20% reduced attack speed? Now who's, uh, whose idea was this? Oh, at least this one's all upside. Reduced totem placement speed. Wow, that's kind of cool, I guess. Double damage doesn't affect damage over time. Um, that may or may not be true. You could be right. So I don't even need to do that anymore. Just a little bit of accuracy to need a dick. I, guess. I mean, what are you doing, my friend? Shut up! Don't Fuck it, I guess I could. Got me a double pepperoni. Plus double garlic pepperoni pizza brothers. Enjoy your fried areas and chat. A little bit of accuracy never hurt anyone. Hey, thanks action. Whoa. Damn, thanks man. I didn't even see all that. Thanks for the 50 bucks. What did you say? Double pepperoni plus double garlic pizza. What the fuck? Hey, get this guy's fucking lunch. Get this guy's lunch. And bring me most of it. You could leave him a slice. Bring me his lunch. That's bullshit. Hey, enjoy. It sounds really good. Double garlic, double pepperoni? What a dick. Hey, thanks very much. <laughs> what a generous Mother. dick. Hey, you're a generous yeah. dick. Or else. Hey, thanks. Uh, happy Friday and thanks, Action Dan. Mm, thanks, two fat ladies. Kaka. <laughs> <laughs> thanks. Uh, and Dredzy. Yeah, getting hype over the two fat ladies. Ha-ha! I'll give it up. <coughs> Man, I hope I get a sweet dropping early league this league when it starts. 
I mean, not, not on PC. I like console. I don't want any luck on PC. Because then it's going to waste all my luck for console. I mean, luck on PC is cool too. What I really wish is, I wish there was cross progression. Like Diablo. It feels so like... Um... Hmm underhanded or I don't know how do these devs sleep at night dude I'm not up to that just yet. cross progression man seems like a no-brainer <coughs> POE 3 will have cross play uh, cool The devs have no brain? Dude, that's not true. The devs want you to think they have no brain. It's just like those big titty titty streamers that like act like really ditzy, but they're definitely smarter than both you and I. I mean, that's the that's the strat, man. They want you to think they're dumb, man. They're doing it for some reason. There's like some shit going on that's subdermal. You know? Like, why on earth are no they not doing crossplay? Come on, man. Don't fall for it. Create a unique ring! I could go get a unique ring in the bestiary right now, huh? Hey, let's go get a unique ring. Sweet. What are you guys frowning about? No early league luck? Get good. Three thumbs up. Hey, thanks, thanks. Uh, happy Friday, thanks. Fish tacos smell bad? The fuck are you talking about, man? I don't even like fish, but fish tacos are good. When they have like, uh, you know that that creamy stuff and then lemon juice, you know. Oh, I already got that. What's this? Totem placement, ignite duration. I'm not even gonna go for it anymore. Just leave it as is. What's this? Increased area of effect while wielding a bow is good for toxic rain. Because all of the flowers that spawn and get the enemy stoned are gonna overlap each other. Cajun fish tacos? What the fuck? I'm not up to that just yet. I'm starting to get really excited about I mean if I don't go this evening, I think the a good strap maybe I'll go tomorrow. Tomorrow for lunch. That would be cool. Maybe tomorrow for lunch. I've been talking about it for way too long, and it's a good opportunity. Why not? Tunic. Nah. Nah. You just ate a good-ass burger? From where? <laughs> Thank you. Thanks, Frederick. Thanks again, Action Dan. Enjoy that double pepperoni, dude. Sounds great. I have seen 
I'm gonna try and go get a unique ring. And I'm gonna wear uh, this thing. Strength belt. Oops. I've been talking about going to one of these seafood boil type of places for, it feels like months now, but maybe I'm tripping. Um, so, you know, I want to go. Yeah, I know they're awesome. I've only been once in my life. Like, maybe... I haven't been to one of those places in, I'd say, like, 20 years. <laughs> I wish I was not being serious. The last time I went to one was, like, 20 years ago. Uh, but it was good. Back then. Yeah, I'm old, so. You got a problem with that? I'm also bald. You got a problem with that? That's a mistake. Uh, thanks again, two fat ladies. Caw, caw. <laughs> Yep, that sounds about right. Hey, uh, can I go to the bestiary or what? There it is. I'm going to get a unique ring. It's going to be sweet. We is trash and dumb to smoke. <laughs> Thank you. Are you feeling all right, chat? Isn't green marijuana your number one favorite pastime? OG bomb Grandmaster Kush? Loading? What the fuck is this? I have never seen this before. Loading? I didn't know this could load. What do you mean loading? I've never even heard of this shit. I'm trying to get my brand new, let me do a new instant, oh fuck. You can't create a new instance of that? Weird. Did he miss a break? I did, but then I made up for it. Thanks, Randy McNasty. And Josh is all right. It's borked? What the hell's borked? Hey, how's that pizza, man? Did anyone show up and try and take it from you and then, you know, like, give it to me yet? Not that that's going to happen or anything, but has that happened yet? Hey, what does loading mean, dude? I want my unique ring. <laughs> Thank you. Maybe if I go to like, maybe if I go to like character select. I'll try that. Come on, Einar, let me fucking make my unique ring already. Loading? Hey, is this happening for any of you? It's a new promotion, you gotta eat a double down? I only eat triple downs, bitch. Only available in some Asian countries. Triple downs all day. Restart the game, doesn't that mean I'm gonna get in queue again? Is that what's gonna happen? Oh, it's not gonna happen? Cool, don't restart, why not? Restart? Nah, I'm not considered a pro streamer. I'm just a civilian, but I mean, I do it for a living though. Thanks, Randy McNasty and 210 and Spooky Bones. 
I'm chilling, man. I'm feeling good. Speaking of pro streamers, my Twitch cop asked me if I'm going to TwitchCon. <coughs> I said, um, nah, but you never know. That's what I said. Exit to login screen? Is this shit really still... Is this a joke, dude? What do you mean, loading? <laughs> Thank you. Exit path of exile, you little son of a bitch. Um... You love it? Dude, I, that, I heard TwitchCon is highly dangerous. Didn't some girl, like, become wheelchair-bound at TwitchCon? I'm not getting involved. Fuck no, my legs already are trash. If you can't leave TwitchCon on your, t your own two feet, that sounds dangerous. Uh, thanks, CeeLo. Thanks. No more Q. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks, Influx. TwitchCon knows how to party. Have any of you gone to a TwitchCon? I always feel like there just won't be anything for me to do there. What is this loading shit, dude? No, fuck that, no. You've been to one? Angel Eyes, was it good? What'd you do there, just like... Do they have hot dog stands or something? That would be cool. Maybe eat a hot dog and... I don't know. <laughs> get it something to drink and leave it unattended somewhere for a while. And hope it doesn't get tampered with by a <laughs> fan. Thank you. Thanks, D Twera. And little Reg. I didn't like it. Yeah, I could see it being a little bit, you know, on the nerdy side. I don't know what to do about this Einar issue, but I guess I'll just continue. It's really weird. I can get a unique ring from Einar, but he's like out of order. What's wrong with Einar? E3 is where it's at. I got bad news for you, E3 fan. I don't know if Kojima's gonna make it this year. Shark Tooth Arrow Quiver. Let's do that one. Attack speed? Yeah. Blech. Excuse me. I cannot believe they added microtransactions to Resident Evil 4, but the type that they added. You can upgrade your weapon immediately with real money to the final upgrade for three bucks the game isn't even hard it's like totally a kid's game what kind of a stupid microtransaction is that it's like the easiest fucking game weird people literally don't want to grind yeah but dude you say that, but do you call that grinding? You just play the game. That's not grinding. People don't want to grind. You just play the game. You just play the game. You're always stronger than you're supposed to be if you play the game. That's not grinding. This is the weirdest type of pay to win. I can understand someone. Let's say some dude has a job, has kids, made all the worst decisions and now he can't have fun but at least he's got a couple of bucks maybe he can use this couple of bucks to skip the part of the fun that's kind of like time consuming and just get to the end let me just buy my fun i go to work all the time i play i play this game on my free time 
Might as well use the money I get from work that I don't end up using on my kids. You know, I could see that. But RE4 doesn't make sense <coughs> to me. It doesn't make sense. That game, you don't need that for that game. But they did it anyway. It's like they didn't even... They didn't mind about the, like... Connotation or whatever the fuck it's called. Or, like, whatever it comes with that. Like, they didn't see it as being... Dirty. Obviously, otherwise they wouldn't have done it. To me, it just screams dirty. Like, what's the point? How's the professional run going? Pretty good. I think the last thing I did was I... I did that Salazar skip. No, not Salazar. I did the big cheese skip. Where you like go through the ground. I didn't know that you aren't able to get his eye though. Since it's not a key item, you just end up skipping his eye. So you lose out on the money from that. If dumb people want to give people money to cheat in a mostly single player game. I'm going to be honest with you. You sound dumb. I don't know you. All I know about you is what you just said. And you sound like you have no idea what you're talking about. Just based on that limited information. No offense. See, like this guy right now who's calling you a dumb bitch. I don't have any evidence of you being a bitch. You sound dumb. And you hang out with a bunch of bitches. So you're probably a bitch. But I can't go that far. I won't call you a dumb bitch. But you sound kind of dumb. You don't realize, the reason I'm calling you dumb is you don't, you're not considering that the value of a dollar is going to be different for different people. Like to you, you're saying, well, someone has got to be an idiot to be willing to spend money on something like that. But you obviously have never heard of Lokari. This guy has spent like tens of thousands of dollars on nothing. Anime waifus. In games that he doesn't even like, never has liked, and... Deletes afterwards. He spends all this money to get the character. He gets the character and then he deletes the game. You see? So you're not even considering people who value money differently than you. And that's why I called you dumb. <clears throat> but you, I don't know that you're a bitch. All I know is just based on who you're hanging out with. Look at the guy next to you and tell me that it's way out of line for me to assume you're a bitch. Look at the guy you're watching. Think about that. Then answer the question. You gotta be a little bitch, dude. Hey, is something giving me Rampage? What is that 16 kill shit? <laughs> Thank you. The MTX? Really? No way. It's not Rampage, it's just my backpack getting steamy? Weird. Uh oh. Damn, and it gets steamier with uh, more enemies. I'm gonna play MGS soon. What games are worth playing besides the first one? You should play them all. You should play every Metal Gear game. I can't speak for uh, the one on PSP. Everyone always talks about, oh, you know, that one's good. I've never played it, and so I won't recommend it. But Metal Gear 1 is tip-top, the best one ever. And it's the only reason anyone even gives a fuck about that dumb shit, Kojima. But after that, <laughs> 2, 3, 4, all that shit afterwards... Some of them are pretty cool. They're worth playing as games. 100% they're worth playing. But as Metal Gear games, they're laughable. Laughable. I would say MGS3 is the second best one.
Uh, and then MGS1 is the best one. And then 2... <laughs> like, there's some people in here that will recommend 2 and 4. But remember earlier when I was talking about dicks? Like, some people, they just love dicks. And that's not a problem. I'm glad dicks exist. You know? It's not like I don't want dicks to exist. I'm just saying I don't want them. You enjoy. In fact, you can have mine. Uh, enjoy it. Uh, anyway, you get my point. Uh, MGS 2 and 4 are for cocksuckers. And MGS 5 isn't even really an MGS game because Kiefer Sutherland is a bitch. You see what I'm trying to say? You feel me? I think you're supposed to head down to this onslaught, Graceful Assault. I'm on my way. <clears throat> oh, you like quiet? I guess. I mean, dude, is a pretty girl with her tits out enough to make a mediocre game worth playing? Yeah. I guess it was for Nair Automata. So, all right, that's the end of that. Hey, thanks, Chinese name and drink and dive. And thanks, avoiding the bong hits. <laughs> yeah, thank D thanks, Rosero. Thanks, everyone. Hope you guys are all having really, really wonderful days. Not just one. Herald of Ash, Frenzy, Blood Rage, Arctic Armor. Ensnaring Arrow is what I want, I think. That way you could slow their asses down and let them smell your flowers. Sounds good. What do Skitterbots do for this build? I mean, what could they do for this build? Skitterbots are... Chance to shock and chance to freeze or whatever, right? What could they do? Oh, I guess they have 10% more mind damage. Trap and mind damage. But I'm not. I'm using ballistas. Yeah, they freeze and they shock. And they chill. Yeah, that's true. They chalk. Isn't that what I said? Chalk. Uh, I think that's what I said. Shock and chill. Shock gives you more damage. More damage dealt. And... Uh, Chill makes them slower. Unless you have other things too, like while the enemy is chilled, etc. Chalked. <laughs> Thank you. Why not? It's too far? Oh, I guess. Just got this yet. I know for sure, 100%, I'm not going to even make a Righteous Fire build this lead. I'm not doing it. I've made like six RF builds, and two of them I, three of them I took to level 100. So, no more RF. I'm done. Liar? All right, I'll bet you. Uh, if you win, um, maybe this is a bad bet. Who knows what's gonna happen with the RF bros? No, I'm just kidding. I really don't want to, though. I've done it too many times, and it's my favorite. <clears throat> I was considering maybe doing an RF build this league if the league mechanic provided a cool skill tree for it. But from the look of things... Fire Trap and Righteous Fire didn't get shit from the League Mechanic, other than, like, damage. That doesn't seem very cool. I mean, it's cool, but it's not enough to go and do another RF build for. Yeah, some extra damage. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks, Blicer. Splicer GX. Why 
Where is that exit? Isn't there supposed to be like a second exit? I went the right way. I don't get it. Explode RF is awesome. It's so much better than regular Righteous Fire. It really is. I highly recommend it. Explode Righteous Fire is sweet. Super fun. Oh, this was where I was trying to go, the wetlands. Seems like everyone's going Fire Trap Elementalist this league. If you've done RF, it seems like Fire Trap Elementalist fundamentally is pretty similar. Because if you do Frost Blink to apply a hex, you're always going to Frost Blink into a pack of mobs. So that's what you're doing with um, uh, Subtractum's build, basically. You're frost blinking into mobs and are uh, and fire trapping the leftover rares, and that's basically very similar to RF. So it's probably better than RF in a lot of ways, especially single target. Seems way better. Do some good for once in your sorry life, bandit. <coughs> it's RF without RF. <clears throat> Basically, but way more single target damage. It's better than RF Jug. I mean, it depends on what you mean by better. RF Jug is unkillable, dude. You will level up to 100 with RF Jug. Accidentally. Like, you'll just be playing. Level 100. There it is. But Elementalist is not even close to that that strong defensively <clears throat> how's the league mechanic besides bleed mobs in act one it's definitely a lot easier to get to the first node on the tree to unlock like whether or not the weapon is good um, but as far as so far it feels like definitely a lot less currency than previous league mechanics like, in, in some League mechanics, you can, even up until this point, you could get Alks and shit. It seems like you find a weapon, you put it in the League mechanic, kill the mobs, and then it unlocks its skill tree. You look at it, is this tight? Nah, next weapon. And that's how the loop seems. And it may go on that way forever. <clears throat> but you know, like the way it works is there's also logbook, expedition logbooks or whatever, you know, where like there's a major crucible map that you can get. There's more to it. I don't know if there are bosses. There might be bosses. Actually, I'm pretty sure there are. So far, I'm not that impressed with the league mechanic. I got a chaos. That's cool. The reason I'm not impressed with it so far is because it doesn't seem to give you what you want early game. But it also seems like one of those mechanics that gets better the more it, it becomes end game. Like it's worthless to do early game. Definitely seems like one of those types. But I'm going to do it anyway. Fuck it. Gotta go this way and kill the weaver. Over here? No. Is this game harder than Tekken? Fucking hate you. You know that? 
you personally, no offense or anything. <laughs> Thank you. I'm not up to that. Thanks, dirtbag. Appreciate it. Excited for the console league start? Are you kidding, man? Next Wednesday, I'm not going to sleep at night. I'm not even going to sleep that night. Forget sleeping. That's the real console. That's the real league start for PoE. Console. These PC scrubs are just testing it out for us pros. Doing all the early, you know, beta testing for when it hits the real shit. Why is console better? It's not. I just prefer it. It's better for me because I like to play on my couch with my feet up and not use a keyboard at all to search or anything. The trading is nice too. That's true. Console trade is a lot nicer. Dude, I'm fucking eating this guy alive. Man, early game toxic rain is no joke, huh? I've never tried this before. I think it's cool. I like how little flowers grow and poison them. But it's not poison, it's toxic. I'm in. Isn't console tra trade getting removed at some point? I don't know. They said something like that, but all they did was add PC trade. Wow, I got a... Ooh! I'll take that. That's not half bad. 20 all attributes, quantity, fire res. That's cool. I'll wear that. Sounds good to me. First unique. I wonder if Einar's open now. Jerkoff was out of business. Crafting a Toxic Rainbow? Apparently, if you're doing Toxic Rain Ballistas, attack speed is so good that a Quill Rain is, like, good enough. You only need to craft your own bow if you want to do endgame bosses. I think. Quill Rain is like super good. And it's like an early game unique too. I almost got the Onslaught node. Graceful Assault. <clears throat> Can I get some four links over here? I guess I got two three links. That's not bad. <laughs> I want to go back to Einar and see if I can get my unique ring. Thanks, Sir Rajata. My bad if I missed anyone. Navitron, Least Fingies, Coleslaw and Splicer and Dirt Bag. Hey, you guys know what's wrong with Einar, dude? This guy's out of business. When I go to Einar, it says loading. What is this bullshit? I restarted the whole fucking game. Einar's on break? It's Ramadan. <laughs> oh. Got it. <laughs> Alright then. What do you mean it's Ramadan? Why isn't it working, dude? <laughs> dude. Why isn't it working? The best cheese for a sandwich? It really depends. I like chipotle cheddar. I like um, provolone if it's a gabagool Italian. I like uh, lots of different sandwich. Pepper jack, yeah, that's good for a sandwich. There, anything. Havarti, what about Havarti? Or what about feta? 
The Gru Year. See what I'm saying? Thanks, some long dong. Hey, you guys know how to reactivate Einar? I'm not up to that just yet. Feta smells like feet? I don't think Feta smells very bad. And I don't think, uh, I think you need to wash your feet. Hey, you need to wash your feet and you need to get some better quality cheese. Both of those things will solve your problem. I'm going to exit to character select screen. Both good advice. I know. Can't go wrong with mozzarella. Um, damn it, I already forgot what kind of cheese that is. Uh, what is that fucking cheese? Nyan's was telling me about some kind of cheese. What is that kind of cheese? It's like with a B. I forgot. Anyway, it like explodes. Buretta? Burrata. I think that's it. Burrata. Not Brie, you morons. Burrata. It's like explosive uh, cheese. Baraka. Exactly. I haven't tried it, but I'm about to be influenced into it. Munster cheese? I'll eat that. Tarkatan cheese? What's Tarkatan? <laughs> I think that might be funny. Uh, Baraka is a Tarkatan? Munster. Yeah, I love spicy cheese. I really do. Uh, like, like, um, I've gotten habanero cheddar. You, you guys ever been to Bevmo? They have good cheese there. Man, I'm pissed at this guy. Come on, man. Why are you cock blocking me from my ring? Anyway, they have good cheese there. I got habanero cheddar from there. It was really good. This guy's cock blocking me from my ring. Bitch. Bitch. I want that ring, dude. What is this that I didn't do? Western Forest? What didn't I do here? Oh, you're supposed to get that key and open the gate. Queso de Verga? There you go again. I'm not up to that just yet. I admire your persistence. I'll give you that. There it is. Yes. That's a pretty cool MTX. The backpack jetpack thing. Extra sharp cheddar? Dude, I'm in. I love extra sharp cheddar. Cheddar is one of my favorites. Do you guys got to try that cheddar leather. Have you tried that? I've tried it. You gotta try that. What you do is you get a pan, you just put slices of fucking cheddar in it, and you cook it. No oil, no nothing. Just put slices of cheddar in the pan. Cook it. Like a, all the way across, and you end up making like a crepe with cheese. If it cooks just enough past melted, but not quite burnt, it becomes like a crepe made out of cheese. And you can roll it like a waffle cone. You can roll it into a cone shape and then put stuff in it like savory version of ice cream. 
and then eat that. It's good. You're nutting? Me too. Me too. Me too. That was such a weird car chase earlier. It didn't end in any kind of violence. I was hoping that guy would get fucked up a little. A while ago there was a car chase where the guy stole a cop car and then the chase ended with him jumping out of a moving vehicle and he died. He died from that. But today's guy, nobody died. Nobody even got, like, scratched. Not a scratch. I heard those two fat chicks got arrested, though. Which is fucked up, man. They were just trying to get some tacos. What's the problem? Good to me. They're gonna hate prison food? <laughs> Gross. There's a guy on YouTube Shorts that makes prison recipes. And he does it the real... Like, he doesn't use a knife, you know, he uses like, yeah, that guy, you know him? The bussin' guy. That guy makes prison recipes. I've seen that. You know him? The bussin'. It's bussin'. You guys ever been tempted to try that shit at home? See what it's like eating like a jailbird. Hell no, no, hell no. Yeah, me either. <laughs> I'm, every time I watch one, I want to go to the 7-Eleven. Every single time I watch one of those, I want to go to 7-Eleven right now. I gotta go to 7-Eleven, I'll be back. You never want to try that? I mean, I'm gonna use utensils. You know, like better ingredients. Damn, man. You guys wouldn't last a day in the clank or whatever. The clink. The clink and clank. Whoa! I got a. Aw, oh, man. I don't want luck. I got a unique quiver. Is it good for this build? Chill duration? Level 5 frostbite skill. I don't know. I think it's not that good, but it's probably better than what I'm using. I don't know. And I got this ring, too. A ring. It has accuracy. Cool. Transmutation. Increased evasion and global crit. Found by me. <laughs> Thank <here>. you. <clears throat> mm, thanks, Santa, whatever. And thanks, Guy. Happy Big Friday. Thanks, bros. I gotta look into when Ebola Village comes out. That's probably the next game other than RE4 that I'm gonna play. 
unless you guys recommend something that I like, of course. A lot of the recommendations I've been getting lately are pretty decent looking, but they just don't have pad support. <laughs> Thank you. So I'd have to play that shit with the mouse and keyboard like a fucking nerd. I'm highly against mouse and keyboard. People don't know that. It's like, uh, I'm just not into it. I don't care what you do, but I'm, I'm never gonna do it. I refuse. At avoiding the puddle, how exiled are the paths now? Man, some people just have no business being around jokes. It's just simply... Just, you got no business near that joke. Get away from that shit, dude. Where'd you find that joke? That was a joke? What do you think that is, then? What do you call that? What would you call that, if you're not going to call it a joke? Damn, there you guys go again doing a background report on the guy. How do you know he's a 54-month sub? And I'm... I don't know. What's the next thing you're supposed to go for? Oh, uh, the mastery. Immune to bleeding if equipped helmet has higher armor than evasion. I forgot to care about that, damn it. Um, what's this one? Blink arrow and mirror arrow. Damage with bows. Might as well go for the bow damage. That guy's bad joke opened an investigation on his ass? That's rough. <laughs> Thank you. I guess that's part of Riz. You know? Like, the key to Riz is to know when to not go for it. Now's not the time. Don't go for the joke. Or identifying, maybe I should never go for a joke. That's not my specialty. <clears throat> like, maybe you got pecs. Or like... Uh, maybe you're good at something like a skill, math, or you're fast, maybe you're super, you run really fast, or, I don't know man, I'm sure you're good at something, maybe art, you're like a talented artist, that's pretty common around here, there's a lot of Ares fans who are talented artists, very, very common around these parts and not just regular conventional art too sometimes really talented musicians or some other fucking weird ass shit dude you'd be surprised hentai art that too Based on my experience so far with this build, Toxic Rain, I'm enjoying it. <laughs> Thank you. If the progression is as smooth as it seems like it is, since it just levels with gem level and like easy gear, I think I'm gonna like this. I like that it's green. That's cool. I mean, my favorite color is red, but green's probably second. Smile. Mm, thanks, thanks, Puffin Peters, not a joke. Are you a Peter Puffer? Do you suck dicks?
puffing that shit. Why the fuck did I get timed out? Come on, man. First of all, you're about to be timed out again because you think you deserve a fucking explanation. But you got timed out for no reason. Probably because someone thought you sounded like a bitch. What do you think, man? And now look at you. Now you're a dumb bitch. Thanks for the last smile. Just a minute ago, you were only a bitch. And now look, because you couldn't figure out why you got timed out. Now you're a dumb bitch. Anyway, dude, come on, man. No hard feelings, you little pussy. Explanation expecting bitch. Uh, we time people out because we don't like them. That's what we do here for fun. For laughs. You should have seen how much everyone was laughing after you got timed out. Shit was tight. <clears throat> it's like a you gotta see getting timed out in my stream kind of like the way gangs will jump you in. You ever heard of that? You probably haven't because you're a little fucking gringo. But in gangs, if you want to be a part of this gang, we got to kick the shit out of you. And if you're tough enough to, like, stand up and still, you know, be able to want to be in our gang after getting your shit pushed in by all us gang members, then you're in. You're tough enough. But you, you're not tough enough. You got your ass lumped up a little bit and then you came back like, hey, why the fuck did you guys kick my ass? I'm just trying to get in on the gang. What gives? And that's when we knew, like this guy will never make it in here. Let's beat his ass again. See if he comes back wanting answers. So this is now you're up to date. This is where you are now. The future's in your hands, my man. I've told you more than others. I usually don't explain myself this much. But I thought maybe you could be saved. <laughs> Thank you. You want to be a fan around here? You got to understand. <clears throat> You're going to get timed out. Okay, so let me break it down to you like this. Guy who wants to know why I got timed out. Um... Not only do people in here get timed out for nearly no reason, but the people who do the timing out, they're called mods. Those people oftentimes will accidentally time other people out trying to time out the right person. So they'll like just shoot innocent people who happen to be near the person they're trying to shoot who is being shot for no reason, mind you, They'll, they'll miss. And these innocent civilians who end up getting shot, they don't get, like, unbanned. They don't get, like, an exploit. What do you think they get? Some kind of fucking, like, I'm sorry? No, man. You got shot. You were in the wrong place. Shouldn't have been hanging out next to that asshole right next to you. You know? I'm really hooking you up. I usually don't let people in on this kind of... This is an unwritten law. It's gang shit. <clears throat> Pretty much gang shit. <laughs> Thank you. Nothing. Um, thanks, Cronu and Berserk, DJ Berserk. Thanks, Danny and Dak and Joe Mozo. Thanks for the new sub. That's nice of you. And thanks, Santa Pastor. New sub? Don't mind if I do. Thanks. Appreciate you. Is Einar back in fucking business? I'm getting tired of not knowing what my unique ring is. How about like one of those sweet Kikazarus? This guy is still loading? If I was that last guy, I would want an explanation. Blah. Hit up GGG. Excuse me. Why the fuck is Einar not working? Why the fuck did I get timed out? Damn it. Shut up, Pendejo. That's why. Hey, happy Ramadan. 
everybody. Home or the room or the living room. Kage. Damn, dude, what's going on here? Did you see that? There's some hardcore generosity uh, in the in them hills. Thanks, Joe Mozo. You're the guy that I just thanked for being a new sub. Did you get like scammed by that fake heiress on Discord? Are you paying me to help your stream get bigger? Chat, did you hear about that? There's some guy on Discord who's pretending to be me and is like selling like classes on how to get your small stream off the ground. Some dude, fake evil Mexican heiress. But then it turned out that I'm evil Mexican heiress and that little pussy is the good one. And if I catch him, I'm gonna kill him with my bare hands. I'm the only evil Mexican heiress uh, around these parts. Oh, I should sell penis pills? Are they for giving you a p big penis or are they for, are they made out of big penises? Big penis pills? Break time mobile rack. I think I'm ready for dinner time mobile rack. I'm hungry. If I wait too long, it might get eaten. And that's the last thing I want. Just dropped a linked up gold rim smile. Nice. That's some pretty sweet luck. Hey, sweet luck, man. I'm going to save my luck for when the real <laughs> shit starts. You. Console. Thanks, Belmont. That was an interesting car chase earlier. I'm not up to that but not that cool. It was so much more exciting while the chase was happening, but the ending was sleeping face as fuck. No one got shot. I didn't want anyone to get shot, but I wanted them to like beat his ass a little or like tackle him or something. They didn't even do nothing, man. They were like, all right, dude, we got you. And he was like, yeah, you guys got me. All right, see ya. And that was it. Aren't you gonna fuck him up, man? You call yourselves cops? You're not the same cops that I keep hearing about. I guess the guy's gotta be innocent for them to fuck him up. That guy was way too guilty. For them to beat his ass. I didn't think of it that way. They had to get back to General Hospital. Man, I can imagine, dude. I could totally imagine someone's grandma just being so furious about this murder suspect. Because he's taking away General Hospital. She's yelling at the television. Not General Hospital. I'm surprised they even still have that. But why wouldn't they? They still have old people. As long as you have old people, you're going to have soap operas. Makes logical sense. Cool. Yeah, General Hospital still exists. Today, when we were watching the car chase, after it ended, the guy was like, we'll get you back to General Hospital. 
Damn, say word? I wonder if Jerry Springer still exists. Remember Jerry Springer? Wow, this guy just shot me. Jerry Springer was really tight when I was younger because you could see titties and they would barely even bleep them. Like, titties would pop out in that shit all the time when I was in elementary and middle school. But then some shit happened and it was like, uh, we can't show it anymore. So they would start showing POW! Like on screen when someone would punch someone, it was like Batman. Like Adam West Batman, it would say like CRASH! And like Zazz and shit like that. And after that, they stopped showing fights and they stopped showing tits. It was weak. But before original Jerry Springer, that shit was all fights and tits. The good stuff. And that bald dude would like. There was like a bald dude that was like a security guard there. And he would, like, hold back the ladies from fighting each other. And their titties would be, like, out. So he would be, like, holding them back but being an old-ass perverted bitch and, like, feeling up their titties at the same time. Like, oh, I gotta hold them back. <laughs> and he's just, like, holding them back, not letting them fight. You know? That show was tight back then. Steve, you guys know him on a first name basis. <laughs> Me and Steve go way back. <clears throat> we served together in Nam. He used to hold back so many titties. What a legend. Thanks again, Joe Mozo, for the 50 bucks. Super nice of you. Thanks, non bald discount heiress. And thanks, Belmont. I'm going to use that 50 bucks to buy some delicious lobster and crab <laughs> boil. Thank you. From the Cajun place. Thanks, Kizzy or Kaizy. Thanks very much. Still breathing, eh? Still breathing, eh? Hey, happy Big Friday, everybody. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks, Bowser, and thanks, Winnie the Poe. Uh, thanks, Poe. I'm gonna try INR one more time. If this shit don't work, then I'm eating dinner. <laughs> Thank you. Happy Big Friday. Loading, man! What is this? Unacceptable. What is this loading <laughs> bullshit? You. Is this happening for you too? It worked for me five minutes ago? Unplug your controller? Get the fuck out, dude. I did. <laughs> Thank you. Hey, are you making a joke? That didn't work. That didn't work. Get that guy? It works for me? It works for you? What if I go to options and I go to input? You think it's related to controllers? I'll try that. Thank you. Character select screen, options. Input, mouse and keyboard, exit, 
load. Thanks, Mr. Nesbit and Connex. Thanks. Thanks for gifting subs. Thanks, Jetter, Bobby, and Jay. I'm not up to that just yet. It's not working. Path of sleeping face? Uh, you're too dumb, huh? I got you. I mean, some people say shit like that about math. Math, sleeping face. I don't like math myself. I hate it. Uh, U.S. history? Sleeping face. I'm out. I, I hate U.S. history. Shit is fucking boring, dude. Um, I bet you my U.S. history teacher thinks I'm a dumb moron. Because I don't like John Adams. That's how you look to me. Dumb moron. I always liked philosophy, but I hate reading. And philosophy involves not only reading, but heavy reading comprehension. Difficult to read writings and lots of them. A lot of reading and hard to comprehend. It's not just regular reading because it's not always written in regular English. Have you ever read The Prince? Machiavelli's Prince? That is not an easy book to read. It's hard to understand. And it's complicated. You oftentimes have to reread things multiple times to like get it. You know? And a lot of philosophy is like that. Uh... U.S. history is similar because you have to do a lot of reading, but the reason it sucks is because it's so fucking boring. You don't need to comprehend it. You just don't give a fuck about it once you do. <clears throat> Philosophy is the opposite. Like, it's super tight once you comprehend it. Man, this sucks. Not working. I should eat dinner. I love history. Look, I love world history. World history is so tight. U.S. history is so fucking boring. It's like not that cool. You know, just a bunch of stupid bigot shit and like a couple hundred years of fucking junk. Sucks. Uh, but world history is amazing because the world is so old there's like all these weird monolithic structures and ice ages and snow ages and other kinds of ages you know there's like so much history there u.s history is absolutely the most sleeping face shit on earth john adams some fucking boomer nothing cool about him just f a wig fuck you guy's a bitch <clears throat> nice wig, Pendejo. Wooden teeth. Uh, the Attitude Arrow was the best of what? U.S. history? When's that? Stone Cold George Washington. Uh, you know. Uh, thanks, I'm Doge. Uh, anyway, I think that's that's my cue, chat. It's always a pleasure starting my practice league with you, but the real league starts on Wednesday. In the meantime, the next few days, I think I'm going to be busy. Thank you. Um, so we'll, I'll see you around whenever I see you. But if I'm not around, I don't want to hear any bullshit out of the fucking, uh, out of the seriously concerned community. You guys are always trying to fucking get involved. Worry about your own weak ass issues I'll see you guys when I see you in the sewer but I'll keep you up to date on any delicious food that I eat thanks for tuning in and being pleasant to be around that shit is tight and thanks for liking my stream enough to make it so I could do it instead of a job that's also tight thanks bros good luck in the league I hope you guys get super tight droppings and I do too my droppings are going to be a little bit better than yours, but yours are also going to be really good. Good luck. Uh, thanks, Richard Nguyen. Thanks for the resub, man. Hope you're doing great. You guys enjoy the rest of your big Friday. Eat something delicious, and I'll rendezvous with you next time, whenever that is. In the sewer, of course.
Take it easy, everybody. See ya.